Hey guys, Kuro here. <laughs> Welcome back to USA 2019. We shall present to you Need for Speed the Run on the extreme difficulty, any percent. I'm Kuro Chess and with me is Prefix. Hi guys. Also from Austria. And yeah, hope you're ready for three hours of cinematic action. And yeah, a few races too. <laughs> <laughs> so. I hit that button here, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go in five. Wait Four. a second. Wait, wait, wait. I need to check something. What? Actually, the thing is, I'm not sure. Wait, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure. The thing is, that if you already uh -huh. have like an active um, career running, um, you get an extra prompt if you want to restart, right? Oh, all right. All right, so this is the run released in 2011. I think in the same year as Shift 2. They had like a co-production there, like two Need for Speeds in a year. Probably not the best idea EA ever had. But this actually came out pretty good. I will recommend though to play the game on the PC because you're getting unlocked to FPS. But even that comes with a few downsides that you're gonna see later on. It's a very uh, story-driven game. For example, and we're gonna start off in this 9-11 here. Well, you're gonna see in a second what happens to us. <laughs> Before that, epic cinematics, of course. Mm -hmm. that, is, that is the one car in the game where they actually rendered the model properly from the inside. They got a little carried away, or rather, didn't really care much about the interior about other cars. But at least in the 9-11, you're gonna, gonna have a better outlook on things. So, this is our main character. This is Jack. Let's see what's up with him. When's the last time you woke up in a 9-11? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday, of course. Of I mean. course. I mean, where else would you sleep, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's also really comfy, you know? Sleeping on a car. You're taping yourself to the steering wheel as well? <sighs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> Not really my thing, you know, but you do you. You can do whatever you want. I ain't judging. Oh, seems like we're flying here. Yeah. Flying down. Alright, so one thing a lot of people criticized, myself included, is this game has quick time events. Of course. Might be fun for God of War, uh, God of War players. I don't know how many, how many other games that have that too, but... Quite a lot. I always found it a little bit unfitting for a racing game. Just make a racing game just out of quick time events. That's going to work <laughs> out just fine. Pretty sure you can find mobile games like that. <laughs> Good thing about the quick time events, they're not randomized, so if you know if you know the pattern and you use two fingers for a button, you can do it super quickly. Also, shoutouts to Jack's inhuman strength. Yeah, I was just about to say. <laughs> That's quite the strength there to just rip that apart easily. Getting out of duct tape. Seems like he's under some pressure, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even notice that he jumped out there. What did I say here? We'll see. Wait a second. I only just noticed now. <laughs> yeah, they weren't even looking. I don't, <laughs> know if, I don't know if you noticed, like it was on the left side and they were looking on the <laughs> yeah. to the right where there was like nothing. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we start off in the audio. Oh, it's a racing game, I see. RS4. It is wow. a racing game after all. Oh, cool. Wow. <laughs> so, first things first, we gotta escape the mob. The mob? Yeah, the mob. So, for all, for all we know right now, we did something with the Mafia that didn't make them very happy about us. Did someone say Mafia? Huh? <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> did, I, did I pronounce it weirdly to you? No, but like at the event, Mafia. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, very similar to Most Wanted, you got um, the Nos recovering by itself, but also you have uh, your Nos recovering by doing dangerous movements. So going into from, like undercover too, um, underground too. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If you do like 
I mean, in Underground 2, you didn't have NOS recovery for going in oncoming traffic. Mm. You get that in a lot of other Need for Speeds. Oh, train. Ooh. Are we going to make it? I know. Ooh. Ooh. Got it. Damn. <laughs> So yeah, get a very uh, cinematic, story-driven uh, career mode. As always. That's just how we like it. <laughs> More yeah, cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely too many cutscenes in this game. I mean, at least they aren't like the NFS reboot. So Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be honest, <laughs> I prefer this over 2015. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, once again, I definitely recommend the PC version simply for... Uh, an experience that is higher than 720p, 30fps, um, uh, if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I remember on the PlayStation 3, the thing was running at, well, way less than that, 25, even, or even less sometimes. No one ever got a head sitting on their hands, now did they, sir? Nobody from our block, at least. Their faces are just, just so plastic. No, yeah, but I think it's actually not that bad. Yeah. I don't it, I don't know if you remember something like carbon. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> if you look at oh, the 3D yeah. rendered models, uh, uh, the faces of of that game, it's uh, it's quite Yeah, uh, yeah, quite certainly. I get that. Right now. Yes or no? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Can you repeat the question? You knew the answer before. I Anybody? Nobody? Door. I got it. All right. What is the English version called? Malcolm in the Middle, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. Only, only ever watched the German one. Yeah. It's the only one that's available. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is it. This is uh, the run. A race from... Uh, where did we start? <laughs> to know. San Francisco, that's what I know. <laughs> uh, you can tell I totally pay attention to the story. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> Uh, this is it. This is it. 25 million on the line. We're getting 10%. And she's covering our entry fee of mm -hmm. 250k. The most expensive PDA in the world coming up. 250 for a PDA. Mm -hmm. no. Couldn't they at least give you some kind of smartphone or something? Not <laughs> like a PDA. I mean, that's quite wait, ancient, wait, wait. isn't it? 2011. Yeah, okay. How good were the okay, phones okay. back then? I mean, <laughs> I don't Quite even know. Quite a brick at that point. I don't, I don't even know. When was the first iPhone? Chat, help me out. When was the first iPhone out? The power of the internet combined into Twitch chat. <laughs> 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 gotta, gotta use the, the hive mind when you can. This will keep yeah, certainly. Action. Now we have to get you a car. 2007. <laughs> 1992, and uh, it's a little off. So I guess they could have given us an iPhone 2 or 3 at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Wait, it was San Fran to New York, right? Huh? Was it New York to San Francisco the other way around? I'm know. so bad at You're American supposed to know ge that. Ge geography. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Keep it in Europe. It's not like basically the same city anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the, the opposite ends of the... <laughs> sure. Uh, the nation. All right, let's pick our first car. How long are the cutscenes here? No, that's all right. There, there's some something pretty cool. If you press the analog stick and the D-pad at the same time, you can menu twice as fast. Mm. And it allows you, well, to choose the car, obviously, on the very right. This is a DLC car, which is slightly faster. And I think the world record uses another card that's like half a second faster than this, at least the best time that I got. Mm. But I really don't like the other one. Wait, so they got DLC cars already, like back then in 2011? Yeah. Damn. I mean, I think back then it was in the like deluxe edition or whatever it was called. Ah, I see. Jack? Let's go. Time for raisin. After, I think, yeah, nine minutes, there it is. Nine minutes of cutscenes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We finally get into gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Let's go. Alright. So, a few things that we can do to get extra nitrous is to get close to parked cars. So, every time you see that, you get, you, I'm gonna get like a near miss. You also can get nitrous for drifting, but you don't want to drift because it's just really slow in this game. The NOS that you get is not worth the speed that you lose from drifting. Wait, so you only get like when you're close by to a parking car, but not by a driving car? Ah, uh, yes, that too, oh. that too, both. All right, it's just a lot easier. You're, you're gonna pass. Oops, <laughs> it's close. Um, you're gonna pass at least in the beginning while parking cars and driving cars. Mm -hmm. This might be one of my favorite levels simply because of the elevation up and down. It's really fun. Yeah. Reminds me a little of uh, Underground, then. Yeah, true. The Is there a shortcut to the left, though? Uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if you, if you got some secret strats I don't know about, please. Yeah. Please Certainly, I'd be like, you know, I'm actually the player here. <laughs> People just can't see, you know. I'm actually playing. They will never know. Alright, Las Vegas is in front. There we go. So right now, we are... Which, which, which position are we in? Oh. You, can, you can see it once you pass one of the opponents. Yeah, there we go. That's 208. We are 209. We're just 4 behind now. <laughs> I love, I love how the cars are matched up in the beginning. Driving in front of us is a Pagani Zonda. That's probably 10 times as much as this Porsche. Yeah, I was just about to say. Doesn't it like have a 1k horsepower or something? Uh, I don't know. Nearly, I think. Yeah. But yeah, probably not the best driver in there. Yeah. Considering we're already closing in on him. Yeah, the cops are going haywire. They don't like us tearing up the city. You can see, you can see on the sides they're already, you know, capturing other races everywhere. There's another big guy. Oh, yeah. Cool game, go. Oh god. I mean, when it comes to atmosphere, this game is fantastic when you play it one time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but after the thirteenth time. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of know what's happening, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. I don't know. I don't know when the last time it was when you watched a movie like 30 times in a row. I don't know if that ever happened. So, <laughs> one thing about this game, when you look back, the sense of speed completely dies. Yeah. So you can see the yellow bar on the right hand side rising. That is the draft meter, which will give you extra acceleration. And the way it works. It charges up, and once you break the line of sight with the draft, you're gonna get uh, the boost in acceleration. And another cool thing about this game, you have like a top speed without NOS, and you have a higher top speed when you do use NOS. You will ref your engine just a little bit higher, and the car will go to up to 320 instead of 309. Alright, that's the first stage. That drop seems reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. I mean, even if you take like the best uh, rally car in the world that is supposed to go to like the Sahara Dunes or something, mm. I don't think it would make that jump. Nah, I don't think so either. So, the first big glitch coming up. Ooh. The car glitch. It is triggered by redoing the event. But don't worry, we just retry the event and then quit out. We don't have to do it again all over. <laughs> do we get the, the golf done? Uh, not yet. Uh -huh. Wait, do we get the golf here? Maybe. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> there's always, there's always some space uh, for the golf. Yeah. Do we have some donations? We absolutely do. We've got uh, an eight dollar donation from Muffy saying, "Hi, Karu. Why do you use the golf lol? <laughs> <laughs> and next up, we also have a donation from Namikaze66, donating ten dollars to say, "Hey, Karu. Good luck on your own." Thank you for that. So, um, continuing with the car glitch, what we're going to do is we go to the challenge series after we retry into the event. Then we go to an event that has like the fastest cars available, 
and we're gonna pick the Sesto Lamento. Um, one of the fastest, uh, well actually it's the most, one of the most grippy tier 6 cars. And the grip is way more important than the top speed. And it's just gonna result in way better uh, stage times. So the way we perform the rest of the car glitch, after we reset the career event, we quit that, we then quit out, go to the challenge series, pick the Sesta Elemento. Once the race start, starts, we can quit out again and go back to the career mode. And that basically replaces our active car. So kind of similar to Most Wanted, shoutouts to the developers of Black Box. They somehow managed to do like <laughs> the exactly <laughs> same coding errors in games 10 years apart. Actually, not six years apart, yeah. two, 2005 and two, 2011. But yeah, instead of, um, you know, the Porsche that we had earlier, we are going to be running in a way faster, way grippier car. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, did you actually um, talk about the category that we're going to be running here? Um, yeah, so this is the extreme percent difficulty um, category. Basically, is the any percent run, but on the highest difficulty. In the beginning, it is not as difficult as it is supposed to be, simply because we okay, just replaced our car with a monster. And you can see the interior now, which is a, whole, a very blocky mess. Yeah. I mean, it's probably good for like who, like all the Minecraft fans, right? They're gonna be <laughs> gonna feel right at home. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So, did you see there? I completely charged up the draft meter. Hey, yeah, also good to notice is that it's basically an NG plus run. It is a new game plus run. You have to finish the game at least once on any difficulty to unlock an extreme percent. But yeah, our opponents are looking pretty sad right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> his Lambo. Of course, of your driving skills, mate. Of course, it's not. It's not about no, a car, no. you know. It's not, it's not like this car is completely overpowered yeah. <laughs> and breaks the sequences all over. We're gonna have a lot of uh, since um, a lot of the action is scripted. We're gonna break a lot of the sequences that are supposed to be difficult. And to be honest, some actually get more difficult because we are so quick. <laughs> there oh are, yeah. There are gonna be parts where if we are too fast, we're actually gonna wreck ourselves because of that. I can show off a neat time saver, which I'm gonna be, which I'm gonna use sparingly, because for marathon strats we don't wanna go too risky. But basically, it includes using the reset function when I hit the next checkpoint. Right here. I have exactly one reset, which basically means I am allowed to crash once and get one retry. The thing is, if you waste your reset like that at a checkpoint, you're not wasting any time. And you're gonna skip a 10 second... Hey, you did really well in the last event, cutscene. By basically <laughs> throwing away my reset. Mm. Telling the game, yeah, I did a mistake. I had to reset. And it's gonna skip like a 10 second... You did this well, you did that well cutscene after this here. So, top 200. Our target position want to be at 150 when we reach Las Vegas. And another thing you can see on the bottom, I'm level 30, which is relevant because if you're not level 30, um, you're going to get an extra cutscene for level ups all the time, which is, yeah, wasting time. We don't want that. Mm. So those are like the two things about New Game Plus that you need to worry about. you got to have <laughs> the difficulty unlocked to be able to run the category, and you want to have a level 30 um, account running. I don't know who played this game before me, but we are nine minutes ahead of him. <laughs> you can see the stage leader the time on the right hand side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean, I could I could go eat breakfast, come back and still be ahead. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> So this event is quite fun because we wanna we wanna go quite risky. Our top speed in this car is about 390 over 400 if we are perma boosting. So the more risky I am, the more nitrous I get, and the faster I can do this entire event. 
But as I said, marathon strats, I'm not gonna go all out. Uh, maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs safety? I just go fast. I love uh, the speed of the traffic. They are going, I think, at least 250. <laughs> Just your average high yeah. highway, you know. <laughs> That's just how you gotta go. Everyone, everyone's gotta reach their destination somewhere. Yeah. Might as well, might as well reach it faster. <laughs> Especially the Xbox. <laughs> Whoa! -ho. It's always fun when they just randomly start changing lanes. Mm. All right, let's get straight. Gonna use my reset, which means I am not allowed to, to crash for the rest of the event. And with event, you mean ESA? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey. So there are uh, plenty of sections where. You don't have any opponents racing against you. It's just you against the clock. And yeah, if you would be driving in a <laughs> tier 4 car that you should have at this moment, you would be having a much harder time. But you're kind of you're making it hard on yourself, simply because you're having such a fast car and the traffic obviously becomes more difficult. What I did there is I quit out because we finished the first stage. And by quitting out like this and going back into the career mode, we skip another 10 seconds. Oh, you did so well, cutscene. Mm. So, off to the mountains, National Park. Feels just right at home. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to Yosemite? To what? Yosemite. No, but you know, it's it's close to our. Our place, you know. I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess we have some mountains. Yeah. A there couple are, of there, them. There are a few mountains in Austria. <laughs> yeah. One or two. Yeah. <laughs> Stretching over most <laughs> of our states. Uh. Are you also going to be encountering some cops here? Um, I'm not in this event. Later on. All right. Later on. But yeah, one thing they did really well. They were using the uh, what's the battlefield engine called? Uh, Frostbite. Frostbite, yeah. They used Frostbite 2 here, and I think uh, some people might agree with me that Frostbite 2 looks better than Frostbite 3 in a lot of ways. I'm need some kind of comparison, but what, what exactly do you mean that it looks better? Um, in, in Frostbite 3, they were kind of overdoing it on some of the effects, like lens flare and, you know, just getting blinded. <laughs> Obligatory randomly. lens flare. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got that in this game too, but it's not as obnoxious. Alright. Oh, to all the Battlefield fans in the chat, you probably know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, th the good thing is this car is an all-wheel drive car, which means uh, fantastic acceleration and extra grip when you use the handbrake. You can use the regular brake or the handbrake in order to get around corners a little bit more smoothly. I think you should also always do that. As soon as you get a Lamborghini, you just <laughs> drive into a cave there. No, no, no. And I would mine. be, I would be so one good. of those Lambo owners that loses their car within the first week <laughs> due to a certain adrenaline rush at some random corner. Yeah. Just planting it into the wall and like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, it's just Lamborghini, you know. Just whatever. Just Lambo, man. Just get an next one. It's a nice, it's a nice Sunday car. <laughs> oh, dear. At some point, we've got to find a stage where we get like a 420. I think <laughs> later, if it, later on, there's a, there's, there's that's a, the funny number. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I can finish an event in 69 seconds, but <laughs> we can try. We can try. Or was that like 120? No, it's way over. We need something like one minute nine seconds. But th at that point, I think most people wouldn't get the joke. Yeah. Yeah, Chad gets the funny number. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chad. <laughs> Never, uh, never letting us down. Yeah. Um, do we got some donations, maybe? Absolutely do. Hell yeah. We've got a $10 donation from Nuke saying, 
Need for Speed was such an iconic franchise for me and probably many others. And Guru, remember, it's not a run of the run if the game doesn't crash at least once. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. At least Hopefully not. not. Yeah. Can I continue? Yeah. Sure. Go. All right. We've got another donation from OZ. OZ? That was. All right. <laughs> Donating $15 to say, hello, you Austrian fellow. First of all, can I ask a question? And second, hi, Lisa. Okay, that's that. Good luck, have fun, and you guys in the back, enjoy this event. Thank you very much, Ozzy. Yeah. Thank you, Oz. Bringing back the news. <laughs> and finally, I've got Just80 donating $20. Thank you very much. And he says, keep on running and fight Alzheimer's. We will. Hell yeah. We will. Thank you for that, guys. I could have got lucky there. Sometimes you get a... You get corners around, uh, cars around blind corners. So, for marathon strats, I'm going to be taking a little wider line sometimes. Just to make sure I don't uh, randomly hit a car. Alright, next checkpoint. I want to use the reset bridge again. Well, it's, uh, it's not. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really not a bridge. It's Ooh, just abusing, abusing the games and mechanics. Nah, it's alright. We got off road tires. Sure, I hope. As you do on a Lamborghini. I mean, I think just driving here for like five minutes here, your tires are going to be so shredded up. They, they are basically off road tires anyways. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're probably going to be driving literally on your tires. Unless you're Sunday. <laughs> I'm not sure how much tire there's left. Huh? Oh, I'm yeah. not sure how much of the tire is still left. Yeah. And totally forgot about the reset. <laughs> 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 yeah, some of the events Rip. are way faster. Mm. So, where are we at? 187. I didn't even lose any race. You know what I, what I find funny in this particular cutscene? You might see the car crying there a little bit. <laughs> you, see, you see the water <laughs> drops <laughs> coming down off the back. Uh. First of all, there's no water here. <laughs> Second of all, we are standing in a cutscene. Uh, can we get some Bible forms? <laughs> <laughs> the car. So sad. Heavily disappointed. But I was quite excited, you know, when the car glitch uh, was discovered because it just uh, it just mixed up the gameplay so much. Because mm -hmm. this game is pretty linear, and you, you know what's going to happen, and you are going to be limited to a certain range of cars, and all of a sudden you get uh, a tier 6 car, the Lamborghini, just absolutely shredding everything. Including its own tires. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So yeah, once again, we're going to be farming the draft here until it's full. And if you combine it with the nitrous, you get insane acceleration. I couldn't even hold my line there. Like I, normally I try to stay in that pretty traffic for some extra nitrous. Oh yeah, gas stations. They are a thing. But we don't use them. For the most part, later on in the game we're gonna use it exactly once. And basically at the gas stations you can switch out your car. For some reason oh thank you. Rip. <laughs> Nicely bounced off the car. Um, and that is why that extra life is kind of convenient. Mm. It also means I don't have any more safe line, uh, lifelines here. So now it's got to be a perfect run until the finish. Basically, you want to evade any kind of contact with the cars as much as possible because you bounce off them like flubber. Oh, you fuck. Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he nearly got me there. The thing is, um, if you like, if you rub bumpers, you get stuck on his car. And at that point, yeah, I nearly, I nearly hit the traffic car. Oh, there it is. Aww. There it is. Oh well. Well. Estimate plus no, it shouldn't be <laughs> <under estimate. laughs> Oh god! But yeah, that's the thing about extreme difficulty. You got that one extra life, and from everything on strats, you want to use that reset method as little as possible, just to make sure you have that extra one life mm. if something goes wrong. Goes wrong. <laughs> uh. I see. I see. You got. You got a liking to a chair. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's one major issue that I have with this game. I understand that the consoles might be loading really slowly, 
But the PC version, even if you have like an NVMe SSD uh, from NASA in RAID 0, yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. You're always going to have the same loading time. It is actually a fixed loading time. Basically, really? once the game is entirely loaded, it's still going to wait that 20 seconds or whatever how long the loading time is supposed to be. And it's always going to be that. Console port. <laughs> yep, typical console port. Yeah. That is gonna be more apparent later on. There's gonna there's there's gonna be some other shenanigans. That was close. Yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be some more shenanigans later on. Because we are not playing at the 30 FPS console uh, frame rate. Oh yeah. What is about that? We got we got a few more minutes before we can <laughs> yeah. enjoy. Well, where are you going? <laughs> really, the thing is, um, the cars are very heavy in this game, so whenever you go um, to a corner, your car gets pushed out so much. Mm. And since I couldn't fight it, uh, you know, I went with it and mm. passed the car on the outside. That's going more apparent with the Hansu <laughs> Can we queue some European here? <laughs> <laughs> Aw, it's over. <laughs> nah, Mr. 420, by a lot. How could you? It's also not possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're cutting 30 seconds of this. Not yet. Not yet. True, maybe we can somehow bug one of the cars with like insane stats, like somehow break the stats on the cars mm. and get uh, like an Uber car of... A Uber car? Yeah, not, not, <laughs> as Uber, not an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Would be just fun though. Ubering, in Ubering in a Sesta Elemento. I d mm. I don't not want to know how much that costs. I just imagine you know like uh, just a Uber driving with them and then just passing everyone <laughs> and just going. <laughs> also, uh, um, we already did 250 kilometers in 30 minutes. Yeah, that's a decent speed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's an average speed of 500 kilometers per hour, so shout outs to the game's accuracy to physics. <laughs> just your average speedrunner speed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's just how you're gonna do it. Uh, game 6 position. So, this is one of our main rivals. I'm not gonna spoil his name yet, but he's in the Destin. He's a cross. Nah. And yeah, you're not supposed at all to be passing him in the beginning. Your car isn't even remotely fast enough to do that normally. Yeah, it's kind of fun passing like for focus. <laughs> all Alex Evans. I think we even gave him past 86 earlier. For the initial defense. So you're not really you're not really quick going through the off road parts, but just cutting off the corners is worth it considering the speed of the car. I really do feel sad for the stage leader. Like we're a minute. Oh, 16 seconds ahead. The stage leader and the rider. Oh the corner. <laughs> like whatever safe game oh. was on here before. Yeah. <laughs> he was chilling. Yeah. He was having he was having a fun time. Yeah, trying his best with the regular cars, you know, and then you come around with that you know, machine here. <laughs> oh. All right, do you have some donations for us? I absolutely do. Let's go. We've got a five dollar donation from Vibu. Hey Guru, I've got a question. <laughs> Did you bring your glasses? Also, oh. good luck <laughs> on the road. <laughs> I actually did bring my glasses, but I yeah. left them left them at, at my at my room. At the room, yeah. <laughs> oh well, next time. We've got another five dollar donation from Seasoner. Hey, Guru, if this game's called The Run, then why aren't you on foot, Kappa? <laughs> <laughs> Wait <And> for it. <laughs> and finally, we've got Talon One with a donation of fifty dollars. Ooh, Ooh, nice. nice. <laughs> Thank you for that. 
saying, Kuru, if the room is too bright, don't hesitate to whip out those sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks a lot. I actually left the sunglasses in my room. <laughs> oh, Should well. I go get them? <laughs> um, I mean, at the, to be honest, I guess any black sunglasses would work. As long as, as, long as they're like black sports sunglasses, they would work. Yeah. We can we can put them on for like the the found the found stage. Oh yeah. This is a good music going. Yeah. Yeah, this event is supposed to be like super difficult. When you play on extreme difficulty against these opponents here, you basically pass them at the last of a second usually. Uh, but yeah, basically pass them in the first corner. <laughs> Shout out to the drive. It, re it really works well around these corners. Getting like carbon flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> True, carbon was way more narrow though. Mm. Carbon, so you, had, you had two lanes. And here you have like two lanes plus some runoff. Yeah, I'm gonna try to stick my car into the oncoming lane for as long as possible. Just can making use of the, the extra mass recovery as much as we can. Can you not actually just jump down, dude? <laughs> I tried. <laughs> 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 You're gonna get, gonna get a quick reset. There's uh. also such a thing as like a quick reset, uh -huh. where um, if you just go off the track, it's gonna respawn you back on the track. Mm. With a lot low speed, but it is better than getting a hard reset, which just wastes waste a lot of time. So this is a pretty safe location to use our reset trick. Say that that reset saved 10 seconds. Just doing that because we're gonna skip that final. You did a perfect run cutscene. Well, it is gonna save time if you're not gonna crash. That is that true. Is. That is true. There's a really nice shortcut on the left, if it would be open. But that's outside of the career mode uh, for the other Out of the career tracks. <laughs> so the basic principle of racing applies to this game very much. Outside, inside out, hit the apex, and we can also run straight. So that should be the second stage. Not in all stages when you complete them, but in most of them. You want to quit the main menu to skip the stage completed cutscene. And you're not, you're not missing much, it's just a bit of text. The good thing is, in this game, you can menu so quickly that you don't even see me menuing sometimes. You're just going to see like a little bit of a black screen and I'm already out. <laughs> <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> like same thing there. Like you couldn't see. I uh, picked the run and continue the run. It just yeah. wasn't wasn't even visible. I like that. I like that when there is mm -hmm. like zero lag menus. Yeah. It's like really annoying when they first have to pop up the menu and like, oh yeah, there's this fancy animation for like every yeah. single step you're doing. And you after you've seen it that. like ten times, they're like, yeah, yeah, I know about it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, next up, Death Valley. Death Valley. Super fun. Super fun stages there. Have you not just been crashing? Just, just in general, I really like that all the environments are super different from each other, so you really do mm. feel like you're now in a different um, part of the game. Certainly. <laughs> you might notice <laughs> the camera clipping into the window, into the windscreen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can see the window uh, available on the top. Uh, yeah. Also, he's basically sliding on top of the steering wheel because it's not moving. Oh, God. Great. Gotta point it all out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this dude. Same thing here, I want to abuse uh, the drafting as much as I can, as early as possible. Just to get through 
certain sections. Whoa, hello. That's a rare car. Normally it's only one car, that big truck that came afterwards. I do have an extra car though. But extra luck. Love bump for him. Ooh. That's fine, it's actually faster. Alright. The wall grind and strats again, eh? Yeah. Pure there's there's, there's <laughs> gonna be some uh, way more brutal wall rides where you just uh, <laughs> go into the wall at 400. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and you just expect the car to hold together. Mm -hmm. Just and as you do. <laughs> and yeah, there are, there are plenty of shortcuts in this game. Not every shortcut is actually time saving. Oh, every shortcut will give you an extra amount of Nostra. Like that, there's always the reward for taking the shortcut in that regard. But just taking the fastest path is the way to go. So I'm gonna use the reset glitch on the next. Not glitch. How, how do we call it? Reset strat. Reset strat. Yeah. Trick. <laughs> Optimization. Set optimizer right here. You can take the audio cue or you just look at the minimap when you pass the blue line. But I noticed when I <laughs> don't use the audio cue and look at the blue line, I might be a little bit too early. And then it puts you back to the last checkpoint yeah. rather than this one. That's also the reason. Yo, big jump. <laughs> I think the first time you see that, you always get the, the, that, that awing feeling, right? Yeah. I've seen it too many times. <laughs> 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 there you can see uh, that was that was the jump seat there. Yeah, wow. All the way up there. Jeez. Cute chap. <laughs> Keep that in mind, the way that looked just now, you know, that that way uphill. Because they did reuse the same track in reverse. Mm. <laughs> um, as a continuation of this, which which absolutely makes no sense considering yeah. you wanna go from A to B. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna see that you're gonna see that later. That they reuse the same track just in reverse. That's, just, that's like never happened before in any racing game that they would go ahead and just <laughs> use the same F and reverse it. I, I will say Who though, I did not notice. The, very f the first time, and probably the few first times I actually played this game, mm. I do not remember them. It just didn't recognize that they actually reused some of the stages in reverse. Yeah. They look so different, and to be honest, that is true for a lot of games. Yeah. Like for a lot of racing games, yeah. it's just when they just reverse the track, it looks like a completely new one. Yeah. It might be the same environment, but it does feel like a completely new track. So this is a stage battle where we're gonna be beating three opponents. We've got three sections with an opponent each. Hold in three, as one. Well. You can play this super risky if you want to. Picking up as many close calls as you want. I was just about to say, can we get some Darude Sandstorm in here? So what? Can we get some Darude Sandstorm in here? the rest of the sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should. Uh. You do not want to go into the oncoming traffic when there's like a sandstorm right in front of your face. The game loves to put a car there. The yeah. moment the moment you go into a blind spot, the game puts a car there. Yeah. <laughs> Every single time, count on it. Hell yeah. That's the spirit chat. Hell yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I told you, Twitch chat, Twitch chat is on point. Yeah. Me? Yeah, shout out to everyone that is either still awake or up really early. Yeah. Like, the run started at, I think, now around 9 a.m. Yeah, it's like 9.54 now. So shout out to you for being up that early. No, you're breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> you're breathtaking. I really hope that was the right camera. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so... Yeah. That was that was typically one of those stages where I um doing marathon strats where I don't wanna use the reset. It's just too mm. much traffic and too easy to to crash on. Yeah. You really needed to install Franco faces on this one. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> 
so I can also do something. Eh? See, the, see the entire chat doing white people happy and yeah. without seeing the emote, it's only half as good. Got, yeah, this should be the first race. I guess, I guess in the prologue race we had a few cops, but now we're actually getting a decent amount of cops. So same, same thing here. I'm gonna try to draft close call and drive in oncoming traffic as much as possible. Oh, thank you, traffic car. That was, <laughs> that was Jesus. It's all right. The Lambo can take a beating. We did lose our spoiler. It's, no. ju it's just visual though. Mm. It's not gonna impact our performance. Just me go. What I really like about this game, you pass by so many good classic cars. The like old Mustang just now, beautiful. So this uh, shortcut, shortcut is kind of funny, because as we cross, we jump over the cop. And if you have a slower car, sometimes you get a weird physics bug where you get insane downforce and you crash, in, crash into the cop. And for some reason, the game 100% of the time crashes when you hit that cop. Luckily, it doesn't really happen with uh, this one, because it always jumps over. So we're going to have plenty of those uh, scripted roadblocks, where it is really helpful when you know about <laughs> what, they're gonna, what the driving pattern of them is going to be like. Hey, the spoiler's back. Yeah. Really? Communion, right? Hey. Ooh. Spoiler alert. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Did not expect the car there. Also, you can crash after the finish line. There is really? like a few meters after the finish line where the game will still count you crashing, uh. although you're already finished, which is really frustrating because yeah. at that point, um, it lose. sets you all the way back to the last <laughs> checkpoint. <laughs> Wait, to the oh yeah, to the previous one, right? Yeah. Or to the first one? Um, no, to the yeah, to the previous one. Yeah. Whatever, whatever was for the yeah. finish line. So, there are some cutscene skips here. If you know that cutscene, I'm sorry that we're gonna skip that cutscene. I know we're really missing out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! It's a Nikki. Is that yeah, the, the thing is, it's the other way around. The left one is Mila, and the right one is Nikki. <laughs> and no, it's not the same girl. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's super confusing. The way both of those pictures are set up, it looks like you know Nikki's on the left and Mila's mm. on the right, but it's the other way around. Uh. Really confused me. But by <laughs> restarting um, the cutscene, you mm -hmm. skip the cutscene, and you get a much better starting position, which saves, saves about 40 or even more seconds here. Oh, I see. Just restart the browser. Yeah, I think I already did that. But <laughs> All right, so first oh, no. thing we want to do oh. is okay. get uh, right behind Mila to get our first draft going. The cool thing is while you're drafting first, like she's rubber banding like crazy on her script. She's like running at a certain speed, which is very high. So we can like double draft behind <laughs> the same <laughs> opponent and get up to our top speed immediately. I really do enjoy, enjoy driving through the city. It's just very clustered, lots of stuff to evade. Really fun to drive through. The sense of speed is fantastic, especially with this car, which is not supposed to be in that chapter. Certainly, yeah. And yeah, we're passing them way too early. Oh, uh, do we have some donations, maybe? We absolutely do. Oh, yeah. We've got a $20 donation that came in from Cool BM without any comment, but thank you still. And we've also got a donation from MapMap donating $100. Wow! MapMap, nice man. With a nice and simple comment. Sleep, lol. <laughs> sleep, lol. <laughs> we need sleep anyways. Very nice. 
Thank right. you both very much for the Thanks donations. a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. I didn't use Marisa, did I? Huh? I didn't use Marisa this time. Oh, uh, no. You haven't yet. The thing is, if I use it now, it puts me back to the checkpoint, and at that point, the time save would be <laughs> <laughs> non existent anymore. Yeah. Yes. See, he's happy too. Yeah. He really likes Everyone this marathon. <laughs> Just getting warmed up. You might have noticed on the card itself, it says black box, the developers of the game, as well as... Um, you can see the Canadian flag up there, because it was the Canadian studio of black box that did this. Actually, I'm not sure which studio did most wanted carbon on the grounds. Ooh. If they also were back in Canada, mm. maybe. Oh, no. Someone in chat probably knows. Investigate. <laughs> <laughs> chat looks so much better with Franco faces. Yeah, <laughs> finally. <laughs> now all the text makes sense again. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you you just immediately realize, okay, that emote means that. But if you mm. see the text, you, you kind of read over it. And yeah. Just, just completely ignore it in the first place. <laughs> we won. <laughs> So a little bit of drafting here. Oh, that car's new. Actually, I've not seen that before. Oh, a Mustang. Yeah, no, no, not the Mustang. That car oh. that came from the side, the traffic car. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have not encountered that one before. Yeah. Although, a lot of things are scripted, the traffic isn't. Oh, thank you. It's actually faster not taking the shortcut here because there's a massive slowdown there. Mm. It's, a, it's an off-road part that also has a whole bunch of barriers, so it just slows you down. So I hit the checkpoint. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. That was such a stupid idea because I was completely blind. <laughs> so basically what happened when I, when I reset, I get invulnerable for a fixed amount of time. So even if I'm inside of another car, it's just gonna materialize and push it away. That also messed up the entire pattern of the cops afterwards. <laughs> that yeah. was such a stupid idea. That was fun though. Uh, I mean, better than like in, in Carbon, where you, you had that, um, where you were respawning constantly and were in the safe zone. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that, that, that was great too. <laughs> yeah, in Carbon it's the other way around. As long as you're hitting another car, if you're inside the hitbox, it's not gonna materialize your car. And I was just permanently blinking out in Carbon while I was sitting in a hiding spot, so that was... I remember that moment, yeah. Mm. That's cool. So I think we are about to hit up the strip in Vegas. Could you rephrase that? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we're going to go to the casinos. Yeah, all right. Oh. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do not bust me. <laughs> right, we're good. Bust him, bust him, bust him, bust him. Shout outs to all the song requests. <laughs> <laughs> we need some Java in here. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. This is uh. this script is really annoying. You go in the middle of the cars and then um, there's immediately a car spawning afterwards. Okay, mm. let's play let's play another round of God of War. Ooh. Everybody loves quick time events. Hello. Busted! Bust him, bust He's out of the car. Yeah, thanks for watching my run. <laughs> they <Yeah>. got us. <laughs> Aww, rip. They got us. Conveniently, oh. none of the cops looks at us or has their guns pulled. Yeah. I mean, they haven't pulled, they just want it. Well, they had pulled, well, now they're all <laughs> sheep back again. Oh, right, yeah. Now we are literally the rum. <laughs> this, this, oh my god, yeah. This, yeah, this is where, <laughs> this is where, this is where the game got its title from. 
<laughs> Just for this one scene here. That was the entire trailer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Need for Speed the Run. Please, somebody make like a, <laughs> a, a fan-made trailer of the run where they just cut in all the running uh. scenes. <laughs> Who likes dogs? Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Hi, doggy. <laughs> oh. Can we get some Frank uh, Franker's uh, spam going on? That emote needs my love. Yeah. Ouch. Ooh. Now it's close. Best disguise coming up right now. They're never gonna see us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Undercover now. Where did he go? Why is he running straight onto the road? Like that was even that was even before like he saw the cop. But yeah. Moving moment coming up. That looks safe. Yeah. That's <laughs> just. <laughs> just as you do. You mm. know. Just my regular Friday. <laughs> <laughs> what oh. happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. At nice least thing. I don't see them removing <laughs> those wrecks that quickly. Yeah, sure not. Sure not. <laughs> Jeez. So, that is the first time we're gonna wreck our Sesta Elemento. Which means we're gonna have to do the car glitch again to get it back for later chapters. Sadly. Would be, would be a really nice time save if we could permanently have that car selected without redoing the car glitch two more times. Mm. Spoiler. <laughs> 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 Gotta prepare the people for what's coming up. Uh, I see. So, we still get 4,050 kilometers up. Not just in miles, 2,500. But yeah, we get, we get to choose one of those three Lambos here. Uh, cars. One was a Porsche, I think one was an Aston. Martin. So, done with Death Valley. This is this cutscene that I was talking about earlier that we skipped normally. Mm -hmm. Hey, cool. First against my friends. <laughs> I have no friends in this account. Aww. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> Batman. <laughs> well, I'm a competitive person after all. As long as I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, rip. <laughs> Who needs friends if I'm on top of the leaderboard? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ain't it lonely up there? It's always lonely on the top, man. So yeah, we have like 653 kilometers done in less than an hour. So our average speed is increasing. Yeah, we're going faster. <laughs> we're going way faster, faster and faster. We're basically chatting straight from A to B. Yeah. So yeah, this is one of the actual extreme percent events where we have to use the intended car. Therefore, the timings are going to be a lot more tough. Oh and yeah, and we get the hill back. <laughs> Yep, that is the hill that we jumped down earlier. Yeah. That's what I meant earlier by, yeah, it's not really very sensible. So we get a full draft up the hill. Yo. <laughs> I'm a little bit faster than my opponents. Oh, yeah, uh, that killed me. Rip. I'm not sure we hit a checkpoint. We're going to figure out right now. Nope. <laughs> Back to the start. <laughs> ah, I've been in this place before. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Running, yeah. The thing is, if you crash, it's basically like using the reset trick. Like, we're not gonna get cutscene now. That is why I randomly saved time sometimes, because I had a crash at a checkpoint. And I was, you know, surprised. Oh, why did I save time there? <laughs> it didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Oh, I got that one. But yeah, if you make heavy use of the drafting, you're gonna be passing them way faster than the game intends you to. To be honest, I would have liked to <laughs> use my reset on a later point in the stage where it actually gets really narrow, and then you just you know blink through the hazard. But I guess we're gonna gonna clutch it out now. No safety nut. No safety nut. Uh, 
uh, that shortcut Ooh. earlier that I talked about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same one in reverse. Yeah. So this is normally a choke point where there's a truck on the right and a truck in the oncoming traffic. This time get lucky. That normally blocks off the entire road and you crash into it. Which is normally exactly the point where I use my reset to just blink through and actually save additional time just because I can do that segment faster. Speed strats. Speed strats. Oh yeah, and another reset cartridge combination coming up. As long as you hit them on the side, it's fine. As I said, you're gonna bounce off them pretty hard, but as long as you don't hit a wall or another car immediately after, you're gonna be fine. For example, I could have crashed into the truck, although the, the finish line was right there. Mm. I mean, right now we are running on 60 FPS for the stream, obviously, but yeah. you can run this game on unlimited FPS. Like, if you have a 240 FPS monitor at home, you're gonna be able to play at that frame rate. I mean, that's, you know, quite good. I yeah, like I mean, the max I can get is 165. Wow. I've never even wow. seen a 241, Jeez. Uh, 240 hertz monitor. Could be cool. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Depends on how much it's gonna be useful for there. Yeah. But just in general, it is nice. You get one thing you gotta do: turn off the in-game V-Sync. The in-game V-Sync also enables a 30 FPS frame lock, which is mm. the stock setting. So, you know, if you just start up the game, play it for the first time, you're not gonna have very high graphic settings, and you're gonna be locked to 30 FPS, which is yeah, basically the console experience. Yeah. So this is the car glitch. Once you have a new car that you want to replace, you restart after you finished um, one event. Then you quit out to the challenge series. You're gonna go to Drive Hard with a Vengeance, where we have the Cesta Elemental available. And yeah, you pick the car, you start the race, then you quit back out again to the main menu. And if you then continue the career mode, you're gonna have your main car replaced with whatever car we've chosen here, which is the Lamborghini. So it's basically just overwriting like the active car slot in the game's memory and it, it's just overwritten everywhere and it's just really nice, it saves a few minutes and makes the run a lot more consistent. I always like glitches that make the game faster and easier at the same time. Or at least more, con it doesn't have to be easy, at least it has to be consistent. Mm. So yeah, that is Marcus Blackwell. Remember that guy? He... He passed us earlier for a few seconds before he got <laughs> stomped by the Lambo. Oh, you mean our arrival that you didn't want to mention earlier? Exactly, yeah, hey. that's him. That is Marcus Blackwell. I do think he would take more damage than us mm. if we hit him in the back. Depends. I mean... Engine's in the back. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I actually don't know. Depends As on the car, Aston obviously. Martin 177, chat, where's the engine located? <laughs> I mean, in the, in the Lambo, it's definitely... <laughs> in the back, yeah. We can in the that. back, and kind of centered. Yeah. But yeah, this is one of those... You, c you don't have a lot of time. And you gotta make... You gotta make all the checkpoints in time. Always fun to do 400. Yeah. So what did chat say about the location of the engine? Uh, front. Most people think it's front. Okay, in that case, I guess it kind of makes sense if he breaks, breaks checks else. Mm. Under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure about that one. Gonna find last week's lunch there. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Oh yeah, here we're gonna jump slightly to the left, and only if you know it, you're gonna make it correctly. Otherwise, you're just gonna jump out of bounds or into the oncoming traffic, which is also fun. Okay. Now we have to clutch it out. Use my reset. Another blind spot here. 
You have no idea if there's gonna be a car or not. Nice. Very nice. One twenty nine. Oh yeah, we were at one fifty as we crashed our car into the roadblock at, at the cops earlier. Oh. Passed a few guys in between. Mm. I like it that you know, like work on your way up onto uh, like top spot. Just like <laughs> yo, chat, check your posture and stay hydrated. Check your posture. <laughs> 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 And stay hydrated. That's a good idea. Fuck trying that. Yeah, fixed loading times. What a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to whoever put that line of code into the game. <laughs> That's a special place for you. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> player in speed hell sheds a tear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he Ooh. totally owned me there. Yeah. Holy crap. Normally, like, I push him to the side and that's it, but he bounced back off the wall and <laughs> did me in. I got his vengeance. Nah, I'm just gonna pass him. There's no time for vengeance. <laughs> But yeah. Oh yeah, now we can talk about uh, the <laughs> somewhat broken physics. It's gonna get even worse later on. But you can tell like the particle effects are a little bit over the top right now. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> like sometimes there's nothing, then you're gonna have <laughs> the particle effects being all crazy. The thing is if you play on a high FPS in 60, the sound gets even more distorted. You might not even notice um, it right now because it's slight, but you can definitely <laughs> tell that the uh, whoa, what is this? Um, that the particle effects are a little weird. <laughs> Mostly because they are changing directions all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like they're not even, they're not going straight up all the time. Sometimes they're going like to the left, to the right, straight up, straight down, forward. <laughs> Sometimes little, too. Yeah, it's also going like really, really high. Yeah. yeah. It's it's completely broken. The moment you play outside of the 30 FPS, um, audio breaks, a physics break, <laughs> uh, visually at least, mm. the particle effects. Luckily, the handling is not affected. That could have been devastating. But I do think if the handling was affected, the developers would have noticed on the PC version and might have mm. fixed it uh, completely. Can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's gonna uh, get worse later on. Oh boy, it's gonna get much worse. Oh, this is the, sense, though, yeah. at, the, at this point, you can still look through somewhat if you know what the track looks like. Mm. But later, by the mini -map. later on, later on, it gets worse. Oh yeah, great idea. Mm. You can totally tell what the traffic is on the yeah. mini map. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a you know, gamble on it. Why don't you just leave some spots open in the roadblock in the first place? You no, know you're gonna drive through now. Not enough tax money, man. Can't afford all those cars. Yeah, true that. I mean, on the other hand, they they place like three roadblocks or something. <laughs> just put them all together in one. You yeah, can't but, pass that. But it's not like they're all in the same place at the same time. You know. Yeah, they but they're right after each other. Yeah, but they they still would have you know driven. They had would have to drive there in the first place. They didn't have the time. I'm too fast. Mm. I see. Ah, uh, yeah. missed this up four. We said? Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> Can we? Yeah. No? Oh. Okay. I think that was a no from, from yeah, the tech side. Uh, Can't do that. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We're trying, you know. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> Power off. <laughs> I really hope that button is disabled. That was a fun <laughs> thing that I did on my last stream. I got the world record in most wanted all bosses. And as I was celebrating, I was resting my foot on the power button. Oh, great. Fantastic. <laughs> Luckily, live split, if you don't have the splits saved, it will block your PC from shutting down. Oh, You're going to yeah. get that message, do you really want to shut down? This yeah. is not saved yet. <laughs> so I was able to save it. Although I did completely mess up my audio setup. So for some reason, my, <laughs> my sound card didn't like that. <laughs> okay. 
So this is gonna be an early use of the reset. Yo. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those one of those corners that we're just gonna hit at full speed and ride the wall. It's a fairly easy track, very hard to crash here. But not impossible for you, of course. <laughs> There's always a possibility. Yeah. Nerf on nerfs, man. So there, see I got, I got drifting bonus, got a drifting, which is super slow. If you lose, if you lose your grip, the car starts drifting. Yeah, get a little bit of nitrous, but it is worthless in comparison to the speed you have lost due to your lack of grip. That's fine, yeah, just don't worry. Just a bit of paint. <laughs> I got plenty of that. <laughs> I surely more than some paint. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually do believe that a GTR could keep up with the Cesta Elementor, at least in a drag race. <laughs> <laughs> Not even slime like that. He was trying really hard. <laughs> It's really funny, if he's too far behind, he starts rubber banding, rams you, and you're gonna be at 450 km per hour for, <laughs> for, for a second. Nice. We're gonna rubber band even stronger later on, where the cops get up to like 500 <laughs> shortly, mm. which Hell is, yeah. yeah, beyond good and evil. Mm. Do you have a donation for us? Absolutely. We've got a $5 donation from Rush Everything saying, hey, Rush here, just wanted to say good luck on the run. Thank you, man. Right. And I would love to take this moment to uh, give a little shout out to one of our partners, ViewSonic Elite. You mentioned it yourself how uh, <laughs> how lovely how lovely it is to have a high refresh rate monitor. Yeah. yeah. It is. So uh, great one. Thank ViewSonic Elite for uh, providing all of the gaming monitors at the event, like the run uh, that you're watching right now is being played off a of ViewSonic monitor. And uh, yeah, it's great to have uh, low latency. High refresh rate monitors when you're uh, speed gaming or uh, competitive gaming. So we would definitely recommend them. Thank you very much. You saw it. So this is gonna be fun. We're gonna have the cops chasing us down, and we have to beat four opponents. I think there was an there was an STI. I don't even know. Yeah. I hope so. I don't know. I can tell anymore. <laughs> I think it's an STI. The cops are really random in this event. It is so hard to tell how they're gonna how they're gonna act. Not the roadblocks necessarily, they are scripted at a certain movement and they are fairly alright, but the cop that is chasing me down can randomly rubber band hit me on the inside and pushes both down the hill. <laughs> which is hilarious to watch when it happens. Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That that one, for example, like he was he was basically going in for the kill, mm -hmm. pushing me into the roadblock, taking me out. Definitely keeping my reset for this one. I do. Marathon, marathon, safety. Marathon, marathon strats. It's quite safe. But this one is actually pretty lethal. Lethal, very easy. Get wrecked here. Yeah. Especially, this is one of those broken patterns. Normally, those cops would cut you off, <laughs> but you just pass them on the right before they even uh, before they even get the turn. Yeah, That's one of the sequence breaks that you get with a way too fast car. <laughs> All right, the chapter four, <laughs> I think. There are ten chapters. 
so we're basically halfway through. Uh, not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Well, After well, the next one. Yeah. I can't count anymore. I don't know how <laughs> to count. It just doesn't work. Same thing here. We're gonna quit out to the main menu to avoid that cutscene of finishing the chapter. And this is my favorite stage coming up, Aspen. Ooh, very nice. Now I feel at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I feel like I'm in Austria. You know what, on, on that occasion, <laughs> I mean, I brought in here, you know, I just gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta re use represent, it. man. Sure. <laughs> Shout out to Austria. How are you gonna do that? Yeah, put it on art? I don't know. Comfy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is, it is kind of frosty here. Then again, you, you, the you need some cover. No, no, no I, I'm fine. I'm fine. If you're, if you're running, you know everything. You know heart rate, and you're more mm -hmm. concentrated. You're, you're burning enough calories. <laughs> I, I think if I w if I was you, I was cold, like just sitting there. Yeah, it's actually quite fine so far. But you know, <laughs> getting covered in a very nice flag is always very good. Very good. I like that. And there's also going to be uh, ice plates and stuff on the on the right, or um, yeah, there are gonna be ice plates. Hell yeah! So let me show <laughs> you why we're gonna change the camera here. So in the beginning, it's all right, but it gets worse. Yeah. The particle <laughs> effects are gonna be very broken in a bit, where you get whiteouts, where the entire screen is just gonna be white, and we're not gonna be able to see anything. Like for now, it is manageable. Like at this point, I am okay with it, but then this happens, <laughs> and you're actually gonna start to get like complete whiteouts. Oh, great! And that is the reason why for this chapter we're gonna be driving in the hood cam. So everyone that likes hood cam, this one is for you. I'm getting a little bit, <laughs> a little Doesn't closer look at the action. Much, well, that is that is the snow coming off from my opponents, but at least I don't get you know blindsided by my own mm. snow effect anymore. Yeah. Because at least now I am, you know, in front of it, mm. so I, I won't see it from my own car. I'm still yeah. gonna see it from the other cars, sure. but those will be passed fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. Gonna get a little bit of a draft, combine it with the nitrous for the highest acceleration. Yeah. Can combine those two things. Oh, we're close to the top 100. Come on. Oh, tr wait, true. We are in the top 100 right now. Ah, we're top 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. <laughs> we are top 100. I'm just not gonna yeah. pass this guy just to annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now uh, we're in the double digits. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what I like to say. So, if you missed the, the beginning of the run, basically we started in a race of 300 races from New York to San Francisco, and yeah, we started all the way in the back for some reason. This is a very unfair race. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we started all the way in the back, and we have to pass them all as we go through America. And we still do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets to show on like either how good we are, of course, or how incompetent the others are. I think the latter one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you pay 250000 to enter the event in a Mark 1 Golf, <laughs> for example? Like, there are some really old, really underpowered cars, and then uh, there are some, like, hyper-expensive supercars and hypercars, of course. I mean, on the other hand, you can't beat the Golf, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> the Golf is better, man. Yeah. Just saying, you know, some of the game's logic might not be the most sound. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, doing 400 over a snowy road, also not something I would yeah. attempt my own. <laughs> not even in a perfect straight. <laughs> nah. No, I get it. Maybe, maybe on one of those frozen lakes. Like, do a drag race on a frozen lake or something. Especially not on a frozen lake. Nah, especially on a frozen lake, because there's nothing to hit. You're just going to spin out for a few kilometers, but you're not going to hit anything. Well, it depends on the size of, this, uh, of the lake, of course. So, sorry, if you have, like... What, what did you say? Depends on the size of the lake, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, if sure. you have like a, a smaller one. No, I if you've you ever seen one of those events, they are fairly sized. <laughs> They're going to be fine. Wait, they, uh, they actually do that? Yeah, they actually do that. Oh, ah, cool. Interesting. 
or also in the desert, you know, in like uh, salt deserts or something. Where it's I mean, like yeah, super desert, flat. desert makes sense for me, you know, but like, on, on ice. So here That's in the beginning, weird. I'm gonna draft behind his opponents, so grab some of their drafting, and then just pass them on the side. I would love to go into oncoming traffic, but this is a death trap. It is actually less than a 10% chance you're gonna make it through those opponents. Wow. And. Um, the oncoming traffic because the pattern is completely random. You cannot influence them in a way where you could make it safe. So you just sacrifice like half a second going in the regular traffic there. And yeah, once again, <laughs> funky yeah. snow physics going on again. I was I'm just about to say, oh hey, I can spot you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the racist now. Uh, the thing is, oh, that, that mm. got me. it's really hard to see. Mm. And we are <laughs> off track too. <laughs> Just dispose it instantly. Yeah, that's fine. We gotta we gotta reserve one though somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we did hit the checkpoint there, so it is actually a very very short time loss. Really like them again. Yeah. But now, already pretty old. Okay, this is not marathon strat safe Whoa. what I just did. <laughs> Basically I, I orientated uh. myself on the on um, on the stripe between the lanes. And it is still very hard to do. So that's one of those events, uh, one of those corners <laughs> that I meant where I just ride it at 350 uh. and yeah, your cut just makes it. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh. I think that saves over a second. Just grinding up your lamp on the wall. <laughs> It's fine, we get we get we get some spares. <laughs> so there's your the ice place you were talking about. You can't really drive on those. The moment you do, you're just gonna slide right off. But yeah, you can see like the snow even getting in the front of your car, which is absolutely <laughs> senseless. Fine, <laughs> <Right. laughs> every law in physics, I'm pretty sure. Where did I pass this guy? I think left. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I gotta say, the way they set up the, the cops coming from the front, it really messes with your brain. Where you are naturally doing the wrong thing. Where extreme difficulty is not really good for first time plays simply because <laughs> you, you gotta learn those patterns. Yeah. It's very unlikely that you're gonna hit every 50 50 chance in your favor. I mean, that's probably the reason why you have to play through the game. Exactly, through. because if you play on easy, you have like nine resets, I think seven oh, on wow. medium, five on hard or something. Yeah, the numbers might be a little bit different. Let's go off track. <laughs> Ooh. <That was laughs> it's good. fine, it's fine. That's what I mean, you know, like, after the finish line, you mm. can still go on for a yeah. little bit. So you saw me, like, going off track mm. there. It's but you also though. said that you can crash there. At yeah, the end, so I didn't crash. I was yeah. just like 90 degrees on the sides. So uh, <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Sure. <laughs> I believe that you know what you're doing. Most times. <laughs> <laughs> so another one of those faces that we that we're gonna <laughs> have to beat, Caesar. Yeah, he has one of the cars that doesn't seem really right for the job either. No, Camaro. Mm hmm. And his gang, especially a Camaro in <laughs> in a snowy, a snowy area. Mm. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that car's rear-wheel drive. So yeah, that's not gonna have any fun here. Two more monster cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, it, sure. It's his Go crew. Ahead. It's him and his crew. Ah, all right. At least his car has some kind of uh, finesse to it. The other one has have like green rims. Yeah. I know, like, right? Nice. Got the dirty pass. You always want to use your opponents as a guide, as long as it saves you time. This is one of the games where I'm actually fine with the lens flare, where it's not as obnoxious as the most newer <laughs> games, where you can't see anything anymore. Yeah. A whole bunch of blind corners and, well, cars waiting for us <laughs> at the end of it. Surprise! Very dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my community. Uh, that, yeah. one, that one was for you. For the hot shots. For the hot shots. 
actually no traffic car here. I'm very cautious going over that bump because you don't see anything after it. Mm. Could be a car. Hey chat, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this is where I would uh, get uncomfortable. 390 on the snowy road. <laughs> and lifting off. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you do, you know. Easy. <laughs> is there another checkpoint? I'm not sure. Can we, I want to use my research, but I'm not sure there's another checkpoint before the finish line. Oh, it should be. One more time. Oh, it's, it's super fun if you take the, the gas station here. Your opponent is going to pass you, <laughs> and you're going to guaranteed lose. <laughs> wow. Fantastic placement of a gas station. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to change your car, don't do it there. <laughs> Unless you really like to redo the entire event again. The funny thing is, when you redo the event, you're back into your old car. <laughs> <laughs> Warm enough. Is it warm after all? Yeah. <laughs> it slowly got warm in here, you know. Well, gotta gotta feel all warm and fuzzy being covered by your country, huh? Yeah, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> Feeling right at home. Chat, I, I, I've just heard we are really close to 17,000 viewers. How about you tell all of your friends, and especially your mom, you should have called <laughs> her anyways, to watch the stream already. Wow. 17K <laughs> seems pretty fairly easy to do anyway, so you guys go ahead and tell all your friends and your mom. Don't forget about that. <laughs> you love her, so you gotta call her. Yeah. So, especially in this event, we're gonna have a whole bunch of ice plates. Especially this traffic car is really annoying because I have to, like, pass it kind of half on the ice, half on the regular road. <laughs> because otherwise I'm just gonna slam into the wall. So you're gonna see me dodging the ice plates as much as possible because you can't even accelerate them, but you're just gonna spin out all of your wheels. Your car is gonna be barely moving. Oh yeah, time for a slide. <laughs> Front facing snow physics, let's go. Chat this will be all depressing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can call your dad too. It's a <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you, your mom is gonna care more than your dad. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> What's that supposed to mean now? <laughs> That's kinda true though. Uh, your dad is like, I know, man, I know. <laughs> oh! There oh, we go. so close though. That was, that was like bumper cars. Yeah. I, w I did survive the first two cars, but then, you know, it hit me into the guardrail. Mm. So, have fun. We did hit the uh, checkpoint right there, so mm. we're good. Yeah. Say we're good, yet we are going really, really <laughs> risky here. I'm kind of I'm like 55% oh in the oncoming traffic to pick up the extra nitrous. And I am 45% in the regular road, so I can pick up close calls on both sides for some extra NOS. I'm going to crash, of course, was intentional, so we Obviously. don't have the 10-second uh, <laughs> time save. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I would have used my reset anyways. Yeah. So it kind of worked out because it synced up with hitting the checkpoint and crashing yeah. out. Crashing out is a little bit of a longer cutscene than hitting the reset yourself. Yeah. Always fun to crash into the finish line. Yeah. Fun. Always fun. So this is probably one of the most memorable events in the entire game that probably everyone remembers that played this game. We are gonna be actually let the cut let the cutscene do the talking. Let the cutscene show you what's about to happen. After the loading time, of course. After the loading time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, always, always unskippable cutscenes, uh, loading times, of course. All right, so Jack is a little unsure what to do right now. 
He's standing at a gate. But why? MCA. <laughs> Danger. Blasting. Keep out. So in case you're unfamiliar, you know, in real life, they blast off avalanches on purpose. So they go down controlled and not uncontrollably when there's just too much snow already gathered up. Yeah, and since our opponent just s <laughs> crashed straight through, mm. we're obviously going to chase him down. I mean, if he really wanted to get rid of us, he could have just run us over. <laughs> True, but that's another guy. Another guy. Uh, another okay. guy past us right now. Yeah. All right. That should be a black Audi R8. Yep. There he is. He gone. Clean pass. I crashed the hell out of this guy. <laughs> so you can hear the sirens going. Yeah, they're they're motoring. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not doing That's that in real life. That's not how you do it. That, I'm, I'm not sure. sure you're motoring avalanches. <laughs> I wouldn't know, but I don't think that's how you do it. <laughs> so yeah, we are basically running away from an avalanche now. The funny thing is the trees um, are going to be animated in 30 FPS, but the uh, avalanche itself is frame rate sensible, so if you have high refresh rate, it's going to look better. And once again, we are in the hood camera, so I don't blind myself from the snow effects coming off my own tires. And yeah, we're gonna have some sequence breaks. So since my car is so fast, I'm gonna be driving under some rocks that you're supposed to dodge. Pay attention. Oosh. <laughs> That's the first one. <laughs> Second one. And these ones we just <laughs> we just passed before they even <laughs> hit the ground. Barely. That oncoming lane is a little buggy. It like it takes some time before it realizes that we are on the oncoming lane in the first place. The thing is, there's also a reverse sequence break. In one of those segments, we're gonna be too fast and have to slow down in order not to crash my car. Too sp too fast. Way too fast. Alarm. <laughs> <laughs> that one I actually have to dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Stones are just lagging down. So now I, have to, now I have to slow down. If I'm faster than 325 at this park there where they come from the side, they would hit me. And that last rock, yeah, we're just going to go under. <laughs> Crash behind us. And the avalanche from the front. Are we going to make it? Three, two, one. Of course we did. Just a little bit of powder. It's oh, of course we did. Just a little bit of powder. Damn. If you're too slow, you are going to get buried. If you're at some point, I mean, get get stuck. Like, you don't even crash out. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're just too slow, you're going to get buried by the avalanche. I mean, what happened to the other one? Then? He's done. He's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can actually, you can see him crash out uh, if you look back in a regular oh, wow. speeded car. Damn. So yeah, that was my probably my favorite event in the entire game. There are there are a lot of events that come close that are very good as well, but that one's super fun. So at the foot of the mountain, we're gonna continue our journey through the U.S. <laughs> it might not matter if you you know finish first by an inch or a mile, mm. but you want to finish. <laughs> 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 you don't want to be buried by, by an avalanche, man. Mm. However, since we have some loading time, do we maybe have some donations? Yeah. Guess not. We sure do. Oh, nope, sorry. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit delayed. But uh, yeah, we've got a $10 donation from Sabon22 hey, saying, Hello, Guru, and everyone at ESA. I wish you best of luck with the run, and please, no tumbleweed jokes this time around. <laughs> 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 yeah, I gotta, I gotta be honest, not my brightest moment, <laughs> and I'm not gonna repeat it. Watch, lo watch the uh, last year's most wanted USA run. <laughs> if you wanna experience that one, we get some more. T 
so. Okay. This was one of the shortcuts that I got. That I missed quite a lot when I started off the game because it's kind of hidden on the side. It mm -hmm. took me some time to even realize it's there. Yeah. So yeah, we're back into the normal camera, no more funky snow effects. I think we're gonna get some more dust effects later on. And sometimes you might notice that the sparks are crazy all over as well. Mm -hmm. That they just are way too intense. Also a side effect of high fresh rate gameplay. I mean, what are they supposed to be? Is that supposed to be right? A lot more subtle. Oh, nice. <laughs> that guy is not supposed to crash out. But if he does, normally he takes me with him. That was a very close one. So, this should be a safe event to use the reset on. Gotta save 10 seconds for the schedule. I mean, uh, if you count them up all together, you know. <laughs> yeah, they add up, man. Yeah, certainly. I think I think this reset um, trick saves a few minutes. Yeah. Because you do it every race. Yeah. If oh, you... Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 well. So, that traffic car changed the lane very last second. So, it guided me off the main track. And the moment you get out of... Uh, out of bounds, it's just going to reset the event. Aww. There is nothing I can do about that. Uh. Other than, uh, yeah, not challenge it in the first place. Do we have any more donations? Absolutely we do. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. We've got... Juli Julius Kazar? Is that supposed to be Julius Caesar? Yeah, I think it's Julius <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, oh. either way, they donated, donated $5 to say, Hi, Guru. Good luck on the run, and don't reset. I got my driver's license today, and when you're back in Austria, you deserve some job. <laughs> oh, and the Prime Sub is enabled. Cool pog. Congrats, man. Speaking of Prime Subs and all kinds of subs, when you uh, sub to the ESA Marathon channel, all the proceeds go to, uh, to the charity that we're raising for. So uh, if you do that, or if you cheer, all of it is uh, being taken as donations. So. Thank you very much for uh, for doing that. Right. Yeah. We've got one last donation. Ten dollars from Pat E. Just for one thing, just for me to say hi, Guru. <laughs> hi, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really, guys, look up look up your Twitch account. I bet you got that Prime sub available, anyways. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna you're just gonna forget it, anyways. Might as well use it now. <laughs> Put it towards a good cause. Yeah. That's gonna be the best use of your Prime anytime this year. And at the very least for this month. So did you see what did, what happened there? Like yeah. he, last second, went to the right, uh, hit the traffic car, and basically blocked me off in both directions. Mm. He redirected the car. Yeah. To screw you over. That is something you cannot uh, anticipate at all. There isn't even a safe strat for it. <laughs> you can't you can't tell how it's gonna play out. Yeah. If you remember our first um, run through this section, like he crashed out completely differently, right? There shouldn't be any more shenanigans, just traffic to dodge for the rest of the event. It's terrific. <laughs> it's funny because that car got me a few times in in general. That's not the first time. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh, I think. The thing is, you know, you naturally tend towards going the racing line. Mm. Sometimes there's a car, sometimes there isn't. Sometimes that car will randomly change the lane last second. Sometimes <laughs> it won't. So it's not something you have in your immediate muscle memory. And, you know, sometimes it gets you, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. All right, we're done. Hey. <laughs> Stefan Motz, chat's getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs>
Any more donations from your side? We sure do. We've got one more from Thonk. Donating five dollars <laughs> to say, actually, avalanche mortars are real. Otherwise, someone would have to go place the explosives. Yeah, I thought I thought that's that's like the the sensible thing to do to place the explosives. Okay, that's actually cool. I didn't know there are actually mortars to uh, teaching us all a little something. Thank yeah. you, Thonk. The more you know. Learning something every day. We're what? now also an educational channel. Yeah, what if he chipated us? Like, what if he's just Ooh. straight up lying and he, yeah. <laughs> he just chipated yeah. 17,000 people? <laughs> Shout out to you, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we just take it all for granted, you know? <laughs> no fact checks, just take it, no whatever. Check. Let's just go. take it. It's for charity. Yeah. I'll believe that, I'll believe that for charity. Yeah. I love that there's like country music while we're riding through here. <laughs> Fits really well. I mean, I'm always blasting country when I'm going 400. Yeah. <laughs> K Corner represents the earlier brother. <laughs> oh. Typical blind spot right yeah. there. Yeah. You, you go into the oncoming traffic and bam, there's a car right behind, um, right behind the bump. Mm. Which is, you know, if you can. Um, as I said, be 55% in oncoming and 45% in the regular traffic, so you can pick up the oncoming NOS and not risk hitting the car. He's not going to risk hitting cars, but <laughs> it's one thing you can do. Also a very tricky corner if I do it at full speed. I only survive it if there's no car, but if there is a car, I'm going to hit it at full speed. <laughs> So I kind of, kind of, what do you see? Uh, this livery is kind of convenient because it lines up perfectly in the middle. So I can use it as a guide to, to place my car on the road. So that's what the arrows are for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the boost strip makes it gives you 50 horsepower. Oh, you know what? That reminds me of like those. Uh, what is it called? Like the career cards or something? The what? Career cards, or like you know, the yeah. when you had like, was like a kit and you yeah. put the cars the, in there, yeah. yeah, the toy cars on the on yeah, the track, exactly. Yeah, I don't think they have boost strips though. <laughs> 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 I mean, if you just put in some more power, I think they could go faster. Mm. Could try it out. I remember when I had one of those, I was way too good at it. I took when I took the inside line, actually was able to drift the car around the corner because there was now space just going oh on to yeah. the other yeah. other part of the track. <laughs> <laughs> and I even pushed off my dad sometimes while I was drifting because of that. Because mm. I was just drifting over to his side and kicking him out. He was super mad that I was so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Slot cars. Got him. Okay. And that's what they're called. That's what I did to my dad's car. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> just pushed him out. Sure. Great. Let's get it close. Lodge. I'm really thinking of saving my reset for this one. Lots of traffic, lots of death traps. But I'm safe, that's all, you know. Wait, was that just a dragon back there? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> was that just a dragon back there? <laughs> a dragon? Yeah, no, I think I'm just imagining stuff. <laughs> well, there is lightning. There's lightning going on in the background. You saw a dragon. I don't know. Maybe that's a special use yeah, Somebody, somebody modded my game. Maybe I don't yeah. know. Why well, just like a, it's a short Easter egg that nobody has ever seen before yet? <laughs> Guys, anyone in the chat that has a Cobalt? Because that is one of the most abundant traffic cars in this game. Oh, I'm gonna hit it a few times. A Cobalt SS. Ah. Oh. Uh, what brand is that? Uh, Chevrolet. Yeah. You're gonna see lots of those. Right, gonna be taking the shortcut here. It is a fast shortcut. By the means of it cutting down a lot, but performing it at a high speed is really difficult. 
without wiping your car, especially this one. <laughs> Gotta use all the space available. Okay. Uh. Me smile. See, everyone has a cobalt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna go. In, we're not gonna go in the middle there. I'm not feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would have gotten the reset in. But yeah, yeah that, that is that that is that ten second cutscene mm -hmm. that you see when you don't use your reset. Stay hydrated. <laughs> Should have filled it up before now. Yeah. <laughs> no. Pretty sure there's an angel in the audience that wants to do that <laughs> <laughs> for you. Oh, it's oh. fun so far. Currently, we are running this on PC. And the biggest, the biggest takeaway is probably this looks way better than consoles versions. Also, it's running at 60 FPS mm. right now. You can run it even higher. Like if you have a high refresh monitor, this has an unlocked frame rate. So if your hardware can handle it, which it should be, it's, the game is from 2011, and you have like a 240 hertz monitor, you could run the game in 240. Although I never did it myself, I don't know how the game reacts <laughs> going at 240. <laughs> I can tell you at 144 the audio gets more broken. The physical, the physics effects are pretty much just as broken as it is right now. Like at least that doesn't get worse, but the sound gets more broken. Too many things are frame rate dependent. It's it's one of those usual PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 games that were made for console that were just an afterthought for the PC and just really bad ports overall. Oh yeah. Like, how does the audio actually break up then? Or like, what, what's the issues then? It sounds weird for the, for the lack of a better description. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, the audio gets some muffled. Kind of like it is right now, it's just way worse. <laughs> okay. I mean, it sounds good so far. Yeah, so. it's, it's alright. Like, if you're not too much of a car guy, you're probably not even gonna notice. Yeah. Great time. Oh, this part is fun. Ooh. <laughs> it's super close. Yeah. But yeah, since we glitched a tier 6 car into a tier 4 event, we're not gonna have any issues with the timer that is set by the extreme difficulty, which is normally quite challenging to beat. It's more about going as fast as we can, but at the same time, well, not wiping out our car. Mm. So definitely marathon straight in this one. Ooh. I am actually less afraid in this camera when I have to go in between two cars. <laughs> <coughs> you haven't seen anything. <laughs> Didn't help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did not help. Nothing happened. <laughs> I just got redirected, you know, into... Yeah, into the grass. Yeah. Wanted to gotta see a little more of the countryside. Gotta take a break sometime. Yeah. Perfect run, Pog. <laughs> so if you get a short reset like that, it doesn't count as, you know, as a non-perfect run. Because mm. the game doesn't see it as a crash. Yeah. Wait, that one doesn't count as a crash? Like uh, at the enter? No, as I, as I just left uh, outside, mm -hmm. there was a short reset. Doesn't count like as an intermediate reset, and then it's the hard reset where you have to do the entire event again. Mm, okay, okay. And then there's the game crash, <laughs> 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 which is the hardest reset you could imagine. Don't jinx it, don't jinx it. Uh, we've been pretty lucky so far. Mm. Does it actually auto save or do uh, it does auto save? Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Cause that would be devastating. <laughs> So yeah, we got like a double draft going on the same opponent opponent again. Normally you wouldn't be able to draft it <laughs> behind him in the first place. <laughs> then he has his script running where he accelerates like crazy. So you get two drafts out of his car and basically go up to top speed immediately without even using any NOS. 
this is actually one of the most um, inconsistent events. The traffic pattern is all over the place. Not something you can just remember, something you have to react to. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be keeping my reset. Mm -hmm. Oh will I? <laughs> <laughs> jump. Lots of jumps coming up. Hell yeah. Especially this part here, there might be a car. Yes, yeah, see? Yeah. That is why you wanna stay like perfectly centered. Jump! Thing is, yeah, like sometimes, yeah. sometimes you know, you might jump. Oh, into traffic hell yeah! Thing. Okay, we're going risky. Use oh my reset. No, I can't. No, I can't feel anymore. Oh god! Did I just plop up? <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think we're good. After these three cars, oh. I think the road's empty. Ah, well, I guess there are a few <laughs> more. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah! Saving those ten seconds. Sick. I love when the brakes are glowing. Yeah. Looks so good. <laughs> Especially when you're in kind of a night drive. Mm. <coughs> All right, do we have some donations? Absolutely. We've got uh, $20 coming in from Lego and Gaming. Hey, Lego. Said, had to run, had to run to watch the run of NFS The Run <laughs> by Kuru, but I made it. When's <laughs> NFS Java percent, though? Oh, God. There's no way I'm getting Best to luck, Kuru. <laughs> 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 Best of luck, Kuru. We'll meet in Vienna again soon. Cheers, Lego. We've also got a donation from Frulu. $10 and $79 cents. Woo, all right. <laughs> 10 bucks towards a good cause. Already waiting for the NFS marathon. Hell yeah. And finally, we've got a $25 donation from Earl. The man, Ooh. the myth, the legend. <laughs> the guy with the most viewed run on the ESA YouTube page. Keep on going, Kuru. Thanks for the shout-out, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for the donations, everyone. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Yeah, Need for Speed Marathon is coming up after you say, obviously. <laughs> wouldn't During wouldn't, 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 wouldn't want to take away attention from this amazing event. <laughs> like, wow. I, like I could. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're going to be doing every single Need for Speed. We're going to start with Need for Speed 1 and then Payback. Chronologically. It's going to be fun. It's going to happen. Building up to the hype for the new Need for Speed yeah. announcements. Yeah. I mean, we still have no information about the new Need for mm. Speed yet. But yeah, that's going to be happening in August. Up until then, we've got marathons to run. I just saw someone who said, like, he lost a Modern um, Most Wanted 2012. Can we get that guy banned, please? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> So I actually do not want to take that uh, shortcut there. Like oh. either, either of those. <laughs> yeah, I don't It just slows you down. It just really slows you down, driving on the off-road part. You would rather take a little bit more road. This one, on the other hand, cuts off a huge chunk of the track. Kind of easy to wipe out here. Also pretty blind drive, <laughs> for the most part. Welcome to the right field. <laughs> <laughs> It looks more like corn. Yeah, but I just wanted to throw in the, the quote, you know. Yeah. Keep the memes going. Here you have two shortcuts to pick from. The second one is faster. But yeah, a whole bunch of blind corners here. Really does help knowing what the track looks like. You know, blind corn nurse. Ah, <laughs> you should have done that joke 30 seconds yeah, earlier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh. You. You overestimate <laughs> my attention span, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's corn again, so. Yeah, true, true, true. Nice oh. one, too. <laughs> you know what's fun? Oh. If I go left here, the game will reset you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Although it doesn't look like it, and it, it does let you go for a while. Mm. After some time it recognizes. Yeah, you're kind of not on the road anymore. Mm. You probably you probably want to go back. Closing in on spot 50. Another one of those strikes where if you use your reset, 
you're asking for trouble. There are so many things at the end of the event. Mm. You, m you might have seen there that I nearly crashed into the wall. Mm -hmm. Because it's really hard to control your car at top speed while you're off-road. The car barely moves at all. It's almost like it wasn't meant to be like that. <laughs> yeah, it's almost <laughs> like, like it, it wasn't made weird. for off-roading. <laughs> yeah. The weird. Who would have known? <laughs> Mind if I read a quick donation? Go ahead. Sure. All right, we've got $20 coming in from Crysterius171 saying, Yo, Kuru, is this the run? <laughs> this is the run, man. <laughs> Great job so far, donating towards point blank, one player, two guns. Thanks for that. I don't think I don't think any Need for Speed could be more speed running, just the way this game was titled and kind of the way it was set up. It even has an in-game timer <laughs> on how fast you finish the game. You can manipulate it though, so therefore it's completely unusable. <laughs> <laughs> just by using resets and glitches, you completely break the in-game timer, and there would be there would be strategies that would um, put the in-game timer down further, although you're playing for longer. Therefore. It is pretty irrelevant to have that one in the game. I love how he just continues to talk over and you yeah. nearly crash there. Yeah. Like, yeah, <laughs> whatever. It is. It is a very common thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just used to this kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, after some time, you just realize if you panic, you are definitely gonna crash. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough. Imagine being in. Oh, did you hear the sound what just the now? Hell yeah, 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 that was some of the broken sound. Holy shit! That was some of the broken sound. <laughs> just Suddenly, just alien invasion <laughs> <laughs> capturing your car. I need to watch Aliens Attack again. That's a silly movie. <laughs> what is actually a movie called? A lot. It's called Alien Attack. Yeah. Oh. It's really stupid. It's, it's fun though. <laughs> um. Just imagine in real life you do a mistake and you su and you survive, right? What do you want to do? What, you want to you want to keep panicking? Then you're definitely gonna crash out. <laughs> you just have yeah, to keep going. True. You're missing an arm? Oh well, I have another one. <laughs> I still have one <laughs> left. It's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I would recommend not to try this in real life. This <laughs> is no. <laughs> no love bump, love up to a uh, traffic car mm -hmm. at 300. Not recommended. All right. You just wrecked that guy. Look at the flares. They're flying. Huh. <laughs> They're like hovering mm. 30 Someone centimeters in the air. Someone certainly cared about the placement for that one. <laughs> yeah, we have to go and get this game going. Yeah, let me just place those flags. No, just put them there. Okay. Nothing easier than that. Mm. So... Let me think what's up next. Oh yeah, we g I think we've got a highway battle coming up for the last four places. Mm -hmm. So let's see, 3,400 kilometers in two hours. So by now our average speed is 1,700 <laughs> <laughs> kilometers per hour. <laughs> Seems fine. Seems fine. <laughs> Riverside. <laughs> Mob. Remember? The guys shooting at us? By the way, Marcus, our rival, is also part of the mob. Oh. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> <laughs> At least we got some fresh air. <laughs> well, I guess we gotta make up the positions again. Careful. Let's go. Let's battle our way back to the front of the pack. Is nobody of them ever sleeping? Or <laughs> I mean, it just they're constantly behind us. I mean, it's it, just, it, so just it just takes three hours to go through all of America, so why would you sleep? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Obviously. <laughs> I totally missed the shortcut there. Let's employ some risky strats. 
we don't need that reset, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Again, yeah, or? I'm on him. <laughs> I'll leave the chat in your hands. Doing and after all, hands. yeah, the hands of Austria. Hell yeah. We guys, we would never do anything in history that would be, you know, negative in any hey, way. Hey, hey, hey. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, not, let's not get into that. <laughs> Okay. Got this going here. So, last one. It's, we gotta go super <laughs> fast through here. <laughs> it's <Careful. fine. laughs> All right, I don't have a reset. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm not, gonna, not even going to get close to that guy because he does those random lane changes right at the end mm. and then we're going to hit the toll booth right before the finish line. Mm. Or rather not. <laughs> All right. Through Chicago and we're now in the top 50. Nice. Okay, final push to New York. Okay, it's time to move to the front. Why are they behind us again? How even? I mean, obviously, they have Porsche Cayenne going for net Columbus Power. Easy. <laughs> I, have, I have two of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next up, we are going to be... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be meeting Marcus again after he shot us earlier in the last cutscene. Mm -hmm. We finally caught up to him. Didn't we just pass him? Um, those were the other four guys that passed us after uh, he shot us. Uh, okay. Let's go. Ooh, oh nice. Getting some underground vibes again. Mm-hmm. You like it? In general, just driving in the city is really nice. Mm. Especially at night time, I think it's quite nice. <laughs> I like the, the, the light effects. We get, we get a little bit of draft off him, and then we go immediately into the oncoming traffic. Better racing line, and also no extra nitrous. I was waiting for that car. <laughs> there had to be a car on the inside. Sure. The apex is always cluttered. <laughs> So, you might remember we lost one of our Sesta Elementors already early in the game. Well, oh, what? this one isn't gonna make it either. Oh. Mm. Rip. So, back to the run. <laughs> it's every time when we're with Marcus, isn't it? Like, yeah. He really wants us mm. dead. Yeah. I mean, he shot at us, so... Mm. That counts. I hope it does count. <laughs> what else would count then? Jeez. Gotta mash fast. Always. It does make it, it does make it faster, and at the very least it's not gonna make you fail. Mm. Are they also able to hit anything? <laughs> well, they hit everything but me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Becoming stormtroopers here. Well, they are hitting anything but me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> well, I guess we need a car, right? Mm. <laughs> All right. And we're back. Although, a little bit disappointed, cop cars come without the nitrous. And without the actual rubber band. True. Man, that would be convenient. Yeah. Having a button and just boosting up to 400? <laughs> I would use that. That would be sick. <laughs> I 
That sounds like a fun mod. Somebody can get on that. <laughs> oh, you can also like go on the right here and kind of break the cutscene where the car completely stops. <laughs> and then it's then it's back in full movement again. Dang. So this is probably one of the hardest events, simply because we don't have a glitch car. And we have to basically do it as the game intended, on the highest difficulty. <laughs> and you die really quickly. If you stay in the, the eye of the light for too long, your car is gonna get shot to bits. Still gonna go for the racing line in the oncoming traffic, even though I don't get any matches. Just for a little bit of extra speed. <laughs> Save the frames. Save the frames. Okay, <laughs> what is he doing now? Yeah, some of those traffic cars are kind of weird. Mm hmm. Oh, it is that. Especially this cutscene is fun because you can you actually steal a car during the cutscene, which I didn't know the first time around. Mm. And then you just <laughs> uh, basically drive straight. Oh, that was close. Ooh, yeah. You drive you drive into the wall <laughs> because you were not paying attention. You thought, okay, cutscene, game is gonna take over. No, it didn't. <laughs> I, did I was not. I was probably one or two bullets away from getting wrecked there. Mm. That was really close. Yo. Yeah, we got the mob shooting up the civilians because they can't hit us. <laughs> <laughs> a little frustrated right now. Uh huh. Also, pay attention. Sometimes you're gonna see cars blowing up, although they don't even get hit. Yeah. They just randomly explode. The run directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> Michael Bay did help them out with something in this game. <laughs> he actually did. Oh, okay, that's there's a checkpoint. Great. There's that's a checkpoint great. you can use. Oh. I think we might have our first game crash. Yes, oh, there it is. <laughs> damn. That is that is interesting though. I've never had the game crash on a reset. I actually oh. have not seen that before. <laughs> Obligatory. That never happened before. <laughs> Obligatory. Uh. So that's gonna add well the beginning of the event again. Mm. Alright. <laughs> It's really interesting. I actually ha never had that. Mm. Sometimes what can happen at the end of an event, mm -hmm. the game um, crashes because it was unable to load the, the next chapter. Mm -hmm. But I have never had it happen during the event when I used the reset. Mm. <laughs> so instead of <laughs> saving 10 seconds, we added 2 minutes. Nice. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, are you... You have to redo the entire event, right? Yeah. Right, right. It's going to put me back into the Lambo. And yeah, we're going to have to crash it a third time. <laughs> and do the cutscene and everything again. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> no, we're just not going to use it again. Yeah. To be honest, I do think this game has some um, shenanigans where it behaves a little bit differently depending on the setup. Mm -hmm. Like either if, if you're using Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, or... Um, yeah, AMD again for graphics cards, cards mm. right? So, never, you never know. Mm. Because, you know, in the speedrunning community around this game, we all have different kinds of crashes mm. <laughs> of the game where you never know if it's gonna happen and mm. what is gonna trigger it. And sometimes you get like a complete run without any crashes. Mm. And the music is back. Oh, oh yeah. Um, was it gone before? Um, I, mean, yeah, I think it disappears once you're on the cop car. Ah, uh, okay. Didn't even notice. She's so focused on it. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Like, I did evade the traffic car, but Marcus was driving so randomly. Mm. <laughs> Revenge! <laughs> <laughs> Wrecked him he completely. Cool uh, tactic. <laughs> Not again! I think that car costs like 4 million euros or something when it came out. No, 3 million something. Yeah, just wreck it. Even if it's 2 plus, it's <laughs> <laughs> too expensive. Uh huh. Well, the run is back. Feels like I've seen this before. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Mm. 
of some really cheap particle effects going on. <laughs> if you take a look at the debris that is flying in all directions. Mm. I guess they just assumed it would disappear in the 30 FPS <laughs> console <laughs> experience, <laughs> but you can't see it. It's just too blurry. Damn. So yeah, the pattern for the quick time events is always the same. And back into our cop car. It's not like that. That is one of the hardest parts in the game, and I have to do it twice. <laughs> Fantastic. You just want to show it off, don't you? <laughs> Such a wonderful mission. Let's break the cutscene again. Oh, even worse than before. <laughs> Sometimes it even gets to a full stop. This time it was still moving a little bit. Way better. Hmm. Not completely wrecked yet. <laughs> the thing is, you do have your health regenerated if you survive. Mm. It's not like you have a limited amount of health that gets lower and lower over time. That would make it really difficult. Like at that point, you basically can't take any bullets. Mm. If the damage would actually persist mm -hmm. throughout the entire event, this would look a lot different. Mm. How does he even miss that one? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they are able to, to put the light on us perfectly, oftentimes, but then they can't fire us. No, I'm, I'm more over that. Oh, we got Ooh. so close to being dead. The reason, that, the reason for that is um, the, the cone of light is kind of mispositioned there. So although oh. you're outside of it, he's still going to get a lot of shots on you. Yeah. I need a status update on that now. Right, I'm back, nearly back to where we, where we were earlier. <laughs> Earl here. <laughs> no Earl in this game. Thank. <laughs> One thing that I noticed, it's actually easier to do downcoming traffic because in the regular traffic, um, the chopper is going to hit a lot of cars and they are just going to be in your way. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Easy dodge. Easy. Easy life. <laughs> Whoa, see, that is exactly what I meant. Mm -hmm. Like, the cone isn't even on me, yet I take all the bullets. Yeah. That was really close. <laughs> well, you did it. Damn. Uh, Yo. Kinda. And of course, you survived that. <laughs> Obviously. As always. And why? Because we wore our seatbelt. <laughs> I really do not want to be in that car if you don't have a seatbelt on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, considering the situation, I guess I don't want to be in that car, period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even have any scratches or bruises. <laughs> Check the immortal. Mm hmm. Well, let's see for how much longer. <laughs> Train's coming. Hope we get the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that you're going to worry about. <laughs> The thing is, the back window is actually broken, and he could have just climbed out on the back instead of actually trying to break another window. <laughs> yeah. All right, number fifty. Donald this Chicago. guy is the number fifty. <laughs> <laughs> A little laugh, you know, but gotta rephrase the number, it. Fif the number fifty guy on the blacklist, right? Yeah. Now. All right, so. Now that we're done with the second Lamborghini, we're going to be going back to choose another car. This time we're going to steal it from an Audi dealership. So let's see, let's see which car we're going to go for. At least temporarily. A lower wacker. <laughs> That's quite whack.
Yeah, I see it. <laughs> oh, dude, it's worth your life. Sure. We can stand down if Nobody's you standing down. We keep going. I'd love to take the, the Quattro just for for rally nostalgia. Mm. But this one's way better. Well. Are we even gonna keep that one? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> guess the uh. choice isn't really <laughs> too important. Then we're here. gonna have one more car glitch. We're gonna be uh, running. Mm. Not in the 80s, but 90s. <laughs> 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 but we're gonna do uh, one event in this car. Mm. And then one final lap glitch to get back into the Lambo. Car glitch, not lap glitch. <laughs> True. Lap, lap glitch, glitch would we? wouldn't, wouldn't do anything. Yeah, this game. I was just about to say. <laughs> wouldn't do anything <laughs> in this game. Checkpoint glitch, maybe. Checkpoint oh, glitch. Nice. If you could somehow skip additional events, then maybe, yeah. Mm. But since the game is. Quite linear. Doesn't really work. Ah, always a good moment to just relax, take it all in mm. during the loading times. Take a drink, stay <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's not listen to the game. Just go into downcoming traffic, get some extra nitrous. <laughs> And it's gone. You know, since the nitrous refreshes immediately, you can just immediately boost as well. So you can get that extra acceleration in. Oh, whoops. Eh? <laughs> Didn't even see him. Can't see him because, you know, I was like blindly going for the fire. That's the closest you can get to that car by basically driving through the firewall. Wait, weren't we here already? And the cop was right behind. Weren't we on this place already? Yep, now it's in reverse. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's that's kind of funny because I wasn't paying attention, like I didn't even notice immediately. Mm. But that's exactly that. Like we have been here before, <laughs> just in that direction. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to get like twice the content mm. with the same amount of work. You know what you do have to do a little work. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Just saying, it's a great way to make a really different looking track mm. with minimum effort. Yeah. Something, to be honest, every racing game should do. Yeah. If they can. I mean, they all are already doing it. Yeah. Just not. You, you don't get it in every game. I'm just, mm. I'm just feeling like that is one thing you can do without anyone really getting mad about it. Yeah. So same thing here. We don't have an overpowered car, so I actually have to beat this guy. <laughs> Somewhat legitimately. Got him. <laughs> <sighs> the car is really terrible. Mm -hmm. Really, really terrible. But we did it. There it is. Another one. <laughs> You're at least making it interesting, you know. <laughs> Another one for good measure. Damn. The car looks good. Mm -hmm. Looked like a clean run. <laughs> uh, depends <laughs> on who you ask. <laughs> Wasn't that clean? Well, and this car is not gonna be with us much longer. <laughs> to perform the car glitch and to swap out for a tier 6 car mm -hmm. is first things first, we gotta retry the event. The game does have an autosave, so it does remember that we just finished and completed this event. Mm -hmm. So when we now quit out after the reset, it is uh, gonna work. And we're gonna continue with the rest of the story after we have performed the car glitch. The next step of the car glitch is going to the challenge series, another mode of the game. We just have a whole bunch of races, a whole bunch of challenges against races and other things where you can do things like picking a much faster car. Mm. Do we have any more donations in the meantime? Sir, yes, sir. All right, we've got uh, Flaff donating $20 without a message. Thank you very much. And we also have a donation from Anonymous giving $25 to say, hey, been backseat watching Kuro since about six months. Holy shit. He's the top five guys on Twitch for me. Always a pleasure to watch. 
actually did not know you were going to run here, but that makes this event even better to me. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Surprise. Um, yeah. Thank you guys very much for the donation, and I'd like to just give a quick shout out to Malmo City. It's uh, the host for our event here, and uh, we want to thank Malmo City very much for supporting the event and making us feel at home. Thank you guys. Yeah. I mean, shoutouts to you being awake that early. <laughs> <laughs> well, that early, I mean... My streaming schedule is like, wake up at noon. <laughs> <laughs> Eat something, start the stream. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. I always, I always have to get on, you know, a uh, marathon sleeping schedule. Mm. So, if you did everything correctly, if you went to the challenge series and swapped out the car you will now be having a much faster car and that is going to help us out a lot especially in this chapter because there are going to be some events coming up later which are very very difficult with a stock car a whole bunch of blind spots here I'm not a big fan of going into downcoming traffic I mean, of course, they have to. <laughs> See? Three oh. bright spots. Oh. Oh boy. We're gonna be back in a second. Mm -hmm. It was actually more beneficial hitting that guy than trying to evade him and hitting the wall instead. Mm. So that was actually on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, bad RNG, him. Mm. Swapping over. One thing that makes this game kind of hard to control is that all the inputs are a little bit delayed artificially. Artificially? Yeah, this game has artificial input lag, so no matter how fast your hardware is, there's always going to be a little bit of input lag on your, well, your inputs. Yeah. <laughs> and it is something you have to get used to. You have to think a little bit faster than usual. Only it really works when you know what the track looks like. But you always have to, uh, like, to be honest, I think it's up to like a quarter second. It is actually quite a bit. Wow, okay. You gotta be very used to that. I remember back then I was speedrunning Most Wanted, and I was, you know, going back to the other Need for Speeds that I've played in the past, just for a one time playthrough, and this threw me off the most. Mm -hmm. Just having that artificial input lag. I can certainly Making see it you. really difficult. Yeah. Like the car's already heavy, and now on top of it, they react a little bit later than you want them to. Mm. 36. Rising up in the world. So, what's up next? Let me think. Either it's gonna be a sprint race where we're gonna have just a time trial or another race where we are gonna gain additional positions. Mm. But yeah, you can see the in-game timer there, for, ex for example. It's like one hour and seven minutes right now. <laughs> what? It just, oh, takes, it okay. just takes the time of, uh, yeah, the time that you've been on the track. Ah, I see. I'm not sure if it in includes some of the cutscenes or not, but I truly think it is just your car on the track. Damn. Yeah, which is less than half of real time. Yeah, right I was now. just about <laughs> to say, damn, that's quite some loading time. That's yeah, just a lot of loading times and a lot of uh, cutscenes, cut yeah. Yeah. It's like one of the big critique points for these games that I totally agree with. Mm hmm. You get a very cool experience, but it's more like a one-time experience. Yeah. And maybe an experience that you can, you know, really live, really enjoy after a year or so. Nice. Very difficult traffic and opponent pattern here. Portico is going off the rails again. <laughs> I loved, I loved that guy just now. He was just slaloming between, 
the, the, <laughs> the entire traffic there. Just gonna squeeze in there. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not gonna <laughs> squeeze. Not gonna squeeze there. I ain't gonna work in. No. But at least we got the reset out of our way. So we're, <laughs> so we're saving 10 intentional, seconds. Intentional. Intentional. Yeah, of course. We're saving 10 seconds of cutscenes now. Just wanted to show you something off, you know. <laughs> RNG manipulation. Alternatively, you know, there is a slightly longer route here on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. You don't get any nitrous for that, but at the same time, there's also no traffic, so there's nothing to slow you down. Mm -hmm. One thing that happens when you go on the right, yes, you get a little bit more nitrous, but it's very likely you're either gonna get full stuck on the traffic, like I did just now, yep. or you just ram them and lose a whole bunch of time, anyways. Mm -hmm. It depends how much you want the world record to improve, you know? Mm -hmm. On, like how risky you want to go. <laughs> yeah. If it's more important to be. Funny thing more is consistent. the mob is behind us, but they we are <laughs> we are we are outrunning those Cayennes. They are actually not fast enough oh, to keep up with the cars. So they are basically driving our speed, but just a little bit behind. Mm. So you don't you don't even get them close to you. Normally they would shoot at you. <laughs> kind of like they're doing now in the cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> They're from kinda, nowhere. Yeah, they're kind of <laughs> shooting, shot. shooting in the car right now. <laughs> yeah, getting shot from like invisible drone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There they are. There they are. Hello there. Welcome back. <sighs> there. Now with the reset out of the way, wasn't a perfect run. Didn't get the extra reset, XP, mm. and save some more time. Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One, well, I guess the second hardest event in this chapter. Very important, you need to go immediately to the right in the beginning, or the KN is gonna pull up right next to you and shoot you. <laughs> it's an instant kill. The moment, he's ne the moment he's next to you, he's gonna shoot the entire clip into your car and <laughs> you're done. <laughs> wow. You have to block him off. Oh. That's something you learn the hard way. <laughs> because you, you're not thinking about, you know, blocking the right lane at the yeah. beginning of an event. Like, yeah. he pulls up and within one second of the event start, you're done. Dang. So, yeah. Go and risk it again. All in the coming yeah. traffic here. Oh. For the most part, until we can't anymore. Yeah. So I mean, you could, but then. Um, <laughs> then we don't. Not for long. <laughs> a little bit of a sequence break there. Whoa, that was a traffic car. Interesting. Alright, let's get our reset out. Question regarding the resetting. Yeah. Um, if you know, like, if you're starting to like crash into someone, can you still press the reset and then like getting reset at the full speed again, um, or is it not allowed? Or? That doesn't work. I mean, okay. if you can pull it off right before you crash, then yes. But if you already crashed, then it doesn't work anymore. Okay. Then the game is overtake. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the game overtakes. <laughs> you might have seen the autopilot just drove through one of these barriers with the arrows. You see that? <laughs> no. Um. Okay. It was basically one of those barriers where it tells you, yeah, you can't go here. Mm. It just went straight through. Also a little different from like other, or yeah, from other Need for Speed games where the barrier is actually not solid anymore. Exactly. You you will see them, but you will also ride on them <laughs> if you hit them. <laughs> mm. In this game, they're not physical barriers. You will go through and you will get a reset. <laughs> So this is actually the hardest event. If you wouldn't have to assess the Lamento, the Lamborghini that we're driving right now, this is an extremely tough event usually. Because we are being chased by two of the mob <laughs> Cayennes and the chopper additionally. And most importantly, the truck. <laughs> I have no idea why there's a truck for in here, but sure, whatever. I think the truck was just there. I think we just passed oh. him. Oh, okay. At that stage. No, he he's, he, he's now in the mob. Yeah. No, he's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw my three. Oh. To be honest, I actually never died on this section there where I just took that many bullets. Mm -hmm. 
either you can take more bullets at this point, or um, I'm just not taking enough at that point to actually break my car. But yeah, if those guys weren't enough, now we also <laughs> have explosive barrels. Sure. Obviously they're red. This just turned into like a, a first person shooter. <laughs> A little bit of a sequence break there. We're passing before the barrels are even on the road. Yeah. I think Michael Bay was also directing a little more than just audio in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getting more and more apparent here. More stuff to blow up. Hell yeah. Why not? <laughs> Pulling up the refinery. At least explains why there's, why there's like gas filled yeah. bottles everywhere. I don't know, man. That chopper is really going on my nerves. What do you mm. think? Should, should we yeah. get rid of it? Please, yeah. It's I, actually I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I don't want to see him anymore. Get rid of it. Bye bye. I do. <laughs> <laughs> just one shot him off. Easy. Yeah, boy. Very nice. Finally, he's gone. Couldn't you have just done that in the, like, the very beginning and we wouldn't have issues? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, chopper done, refinery done, car also done. <laughs> For the third time, this car has uh, become useless. Really? Yeah. But we're not uh. doing any more car glitches, so we are now going to stick to the cars that the game actually provides, mm. because that will be faster. Wow, really? Yeah. Huh. At that point, you know, just doing the menuing for the car glitch a fourth time mm -hmm. would take up too much time. Mm. So what you do is just stick to the in-game cars. Mm. I see. In the, in, the, in the regular career mode of Extreme Percent. Mm. Not that it differs, like you're not getting faster cars in Extreme Percent, mm -hmm. you just have to play a lot better. Mm. I see. Epic cutscenes. Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> Hi, doggy. <laughs> there are no friendly dogs in this game. No, they <laughs> really aren't. Apparently, n no you friendly people either. But I do not know you. Stabs at me. Easy, Jeff Jacob. He's a friend. He's a friend. Oh. And you know, you know what friends get? Presents. Aww. And we even get to pick our own one. Hell yeah. <laughs> we had a lot of Lambo so far. I had my fill. I can see that. Pagani is nice, but... The golf is better. It is time for some German engineering. Ooh, I see. <laughs> time for a Porsche. Nine... Eighteen hours are, I think. Do we have any donations right now? Absolutely. We've got $15 donated by Zypher. Let's oh. go with that. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> All right. He said, hi, Guru. Good luck on the final parts of the run. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> Thank you very much for that donation. And I would like to also give a quick shout out to the Yeti. They, uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> they have a special line of ESA merchandise, three shirts and a pin, where five shirts per T-shirt go to uh, our charity and four dollars per the uh, for the for the pin. They have some special designs that uh, you know are very different from what you might have seen from ESA before. So definitely check those out. Thank you, the Yeti. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you guys. Perfectly covered the cutscene. <laughs> Like it was planned. So next up, yeah. Now we have to deal. Now we have to deal with the regular cars. So from now on, races are gonna be a lot more close. This is not the tier six car. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's a tier five car. It's definitely a tier five car. We started out with a tier four car. Now tier five. Tier six is not even available in the career mode. It's just in the challenge series. And even there, it's limited to like two events. So 
so this is more like the developers intended the difficulty to be. <laughs> You're doing something developer intended. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, if, in here if we have to. <laughs> if we have to, we're actually doing what the developers want from us. I mean, technically we are since we're playing the game. So. <laughs> with me. Mm -hmm. Wasn't sure what that guy was gonna do. But yeah, also this event we have already done earlier in the reverse. Oh, did we? You might remember the shortcut. Oh. The cornfields? Oh, Maybe. yeah! <laughs> oh, they <we're> both wiped <laughs> out. Got a cinematic pass on those two. A whole bunch of stuff going on in the back for the atmosphere. Oh, we'll never see. <laughs> Gone. I feel adventurous, I want to go for the shortcut. It does work better in this direction, which is why I like taking it. And I feel confident to using the reset strat. Oh, yeah. Go for it. No more lives left. <laughs> You know when the game actually does give you a soundtrack, it's kind of good. Yeah, certainly. I did not anticipate that jump there whatsoever. <laughs> I don't think I ever got car my car got airborne there, and we lost the spoiler. Aww. It's pretty funny because it has like the stock spoiler on it, plus an additional one on top. Wait, what? Yeah. One on the top? Yeah. Pay oh. attention, pay attention. Yeah, I will. Right now, you can see that, right? That's like the, the, the stock spoiler that the car normally has, ah. which, which is an active spoiler, which would go up. But instead, that one is stationary, and there's an additional spoiler <laughs> on the back sure. of the RSR. This still might be... This actually might be what the RSR looks like. I am not certain. It's just something, something that I always notice. Mm. We still have our backup spoiler. <laughs> I mean, you certainly need a backup spoiler. Obviously. So often, last day... It's falling <laughs> off. Certainly the backup. I mean, I told you I like German engineering, right? Mm -hmm. Which is why we picked the Porsche. But I think there is one more car. There is one more car out of Germany that I like a lot. You might have already guessed what it is. I think I know what you're talking about, but <laughs> I'm not too sure if it's on this position. <laughs> it's this far in, in the front. Yeah, or is it? We're gonna see. All so right. the one time <laughs> we're gonna use a gas station in this game to switch out our car Ooh. to get into a car that is more grippy and therefore a lot better for the end, the rest of the game. More grippy, you say? More grippy. Hmm. Obviously, the most grippy car you could ever think of is the Golf Odo. Yeah, right. <laughs> Th there it is. <laughs> it is. Obviously, the grippiest car in the entire <laughs> game, the Golf Mark One. Very nice. That's well, what I like it, to see. It is the Speed Hunters tuned Golf, which makes it very fast. Mm -hmm. And it does have insane grip. They basically say, hey, it's one of the lightest cars, so it has to have good grip. Mm. Really that good spacing. Was, yeah, that was really sick. Normally, you, get, you hit either one of those and you slow down. Made it perfectly. That's true. That, that was a really good time save. But, uh, now you can see the spoiler. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the one that we lost earlier. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. That cop just <laughs> saved my life. <laughs> that ram attack from the cop actually Damn. saved my life. He pushed me right away. Yeah. And he's done. <laughs> That's a funny. little Th earlier. This is this is the event where the cops are the most aggressive and rubber bandy. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Look at Making him go. me look old while I'm going 360, you know? Yeah. Also, during this section, this Lambo is hard coded to not really get past at all. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to wait until this corner here. To get him. 
nice. Damn. Very nice. But yeah, it is. <laughs> Th that front glory. spoiler has to produce enough downforce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. That is gonna that is gonna cover our needs of downforce. Easy. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's aerodynamically designed to be like that. <laughs> to go 300. I mean, the, t uh, the tier 5 cars are fast. They are not going to go up to 400 like the Sest Elemental, though. Mm. We're going to get close. I think I can, like, I think I did 370, 380 there. <laughs> it's pretty good. So, yeah, now the names are correct. Now, you know, that is Mila. Yeah. And we're going to face off against her. Oh, she's in the race as well. Mm hmm. She was the one uh, running in the yellow. Three seventy Z. So that's a one on one. We're battling up the hill. Considering this event does not exist in reverse, I think it would have been nice if they would have let us drive downhill. But it wouldn't make much much sense because afterwards. We're gonna drive <laughs> down on another part of the map. Mm. Oh, interesting. Oh. What did I get stuck there? I'm stuck on there. Yeah, on the electric pole then. No, no, I was oh. right of it where I was stuck. I was stuck before oh. it, before I got even there. Okay, didn't say that. It's fine. Just some wildlife, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Probably I was thinking, there. like, which wildlife would I not be sad about running over, and I couldn't think of any. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, cornering is pretty bad as long as you're sharing some trade paint, uh, some trade paint with <laughs> Mila. Mm. Okay, well, <laughs> oh, some nice graphics there. Easy. But yeah, this is this is definitely one of those events where this car excels mm. over the Porsche that we just replaced. We get way more handling. And since it's front wheel drive driven, <laughs> it does react a lot better to hand braking around corners. Like it's not gonna lose grip, it's not gonna start drifting and lose us a bunch of time. It's almost like you have that plant. <laughs> almost. Hmm. Bizarre. You know it's a good speed run when the golf is the fastest car. Yeah. It's I mean that's just the way to go, huh? <laughs> it's a really easy event. Definitely using my reset here. In before you crash. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I like to jinx myself. It's nice if someone else does it for a change. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but look at this, like the finish line's right here. Yeah. Didn't jinx it enough, did I? Yeah. Ah, damn. Gotta go harder next time. Mm. It's loading and calling in if you wrap it up, you know. <laughs> 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 Gotta be careful, man. Careful with what? Nations watching. Yeah, true sure that, true sure that. Represented a little. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the last event of chapter 9, and then we're gonna enter the final chapter, stage 10. But we're not alone. Beautiful area though. Look what there like is on the minimap. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful area indeed. Is this cross? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It's a cop. It's one cop. But not the cop. It's not the cop. Cross. He even announced his own brain check. Yeah, brake check, which is kind of <laughs> nice. Announcing it to whom? 
He's the only one here. I mean, why would you announce it in the first place, right? Like, yeah. like anyone in the radio station would care <laughs> about yeah. your tactic. Hey, I'm gonna break check him right now. <laughs> I feel oh, like I hit okay. a phantom hitbox there. Mm -hmm. oh, I am really fairly weird. certain that the car was not there. But I hit something. Mm. It seemed like, you know, the hitbox of the car in the roadblock was still there, although it was pushed out of the way from mm. the other cop. That could be, yeah. Uh, what are you going for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just chilling. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it more exciting, eh? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's me. It feels super normal, but uh, <laughs> like, a, you know, to a fresh pair of eyes, like, yeah. oh, holy! Boy, <laughs> you doing? What is he doing? <laughs> he just wants to be in the video as well. <laughs> hey, cool! Hey I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me post <laughs> again. Uh. And that is chapter 9 done. Very nice. And the front has seen better days. <laughs> yeah. So, 10 more races ahead of us. In position 11 right now. Mm -hmm. That should have saved the progress. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that should have saved the progress and okay. we're gonna be jumping right into the next chapter. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I meant. Like, if the game crashed, that is how I know it. Mm -hmm. That is like like one in one in five, one in ten runs. I would say the game crashes at exactly that point. Mm -hmm. Marathon luck. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but it should have it should have auto saved as you hit the finish line. Mm -hmm. So when we hit continue now, we should be back into the golf and in the next in the next chapter. Mm. Terrible, terrible PC port. Yeah. <laughs> but still, way faster than the console. Yeah. Well, while we are waiting to get this run going again, uh, do we have some donations? Absolutely. We've uh, just got $20 from Mind of Ryan saying, I wonder how Jeremy Clarkson would feel about all this. <laughs> <laughs> a little disappointed, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and I'll give a quick shout out to Western Digital Black. They are a returning partner at ESA and the Western Digital Black NVMe DC. SSD provide the speed we speedrunners need. Thank you, Western Digital. Yeah. So thanks also to all the donations. Keep them going. Eddie kind of falls under the radar. He's uh -huh. he's available for I think one race. <laughs> 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 I think we see him exactly in this race, and then he's done. Wow. Then again, we're about to. Um, get into the top 10, so I guess mm. it kind of makes sense that he does get an introduction. Mm. But he reminds me from the look a little from uh, like Darius uh, True. from Carbon, at least with the hat. <laughs> the hat looks really like that. It's the fun lag. What? <laughs> Let's bring it home. Let's go to Manhattan. If you really paid attention, you might have seen some of the leaves clip through the car <laughs> during the cutscene. Also, it makes no sense at all. This exact section we have driven <laughs> two oh minutes yeah. ago. Yeah. And somehow we managed to start. Yeah, we just went up. You know, it was all the way such back a nice again. drive. Like this is this is the this is the finish line of the last event. Yeah. Right? This bridge here. We should have started here. This is where we actually should have started. A lot of leaves fell off really quickly, didn't they? <laughs> it's cold here. <laughs> That are very, very polluted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny. I actually never thought about that. That like right next to it, mm -hmm. there's like <laughs> it looks like winter, like the beginning of winter. Yeah. But it does add to the atmosphere. It looks way different now. Certainly. Yeah. And, I, and as I said, I really like that. Mm -hmm. That every area looks completely different and has their own style to it. Yeah. Has like this uh, final boss fight um, vibe to it, you know. Yeah. Gonna be lost in limbo. Lose here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It really reminded me of like Limbo just now when I was mm. just looking at the dead forest. Is Limbo the next? That would be nice. Biggest coincidence ever. I do not want to see any spiders. <laughs> 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 they are terrifying. So much fatty. Mm. With that, we are in the top 10. That is true. Nine more to beat. Our money is awaiting in New York. Yeah, nice. If we win. Of course. I mean, why wouldn't we win? <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna be closing in to the city, so no more open roads on the countryside. Mm. Going back to the city. Where are we now? Interstate 78. How are we coming up? Mm. Means more speed. I bet that's part of the refinery we blew up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not burning down as well. Would be bad. I was about to say we're done with the fire, but not <laughs> that's not <laughs> even true. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Ooh. Fantastic. Uh. Mm -hmm. I did we manage. <laughs> I did manage to evade that traffic car, but that little bump that I got at the end was enough to push me out of the main track. Yeah. All right, no safety net left. Now we got to do it on the first try. See another pattern change. That car was not there earlier. Yeah. There's also a Sesta Lamento, but this car is tier five. The two versions of the car. You might remember the Sesta Lamento that I was driving was yeah. yellow. Or at least partly. I mean, it's not the black box version, you know? Exactly. So. Black box version was tier 6 and way faster. Mm. Junkman upgraded. <laughs> Definitely. What a piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> so here we can uh, stay on to Duncoming Lane for the entirety. There's like one traffic car. <laughs> <laughs> we have to evade before the end. Nice. Yeah, that's the spirit of going fast. <laughs> The thing is, the first time you play it, you have no idea, right? Mm. There, are, there are just blind spots everywhere. Either blind corners, blind bumps, blind mm. everything. Sometimes you have a car hiding behind another car. Mm. There's just too many ways to die in this game. Yeah. Are there any more donations available? Um, we don't have anything right now, but I All would right. love to give another shout out to ViewSonic Delete because they uh, are a long-term partner for us and they've supplied all the monitors that you see in here at the event that the game is being played on right now. And uh, there we go, with, third, with over 30 years of experience working on CRTs to these, uh, so like, close, these single millisecond uh, response time LCD monitors, ViewSonic Elite is using that knowledge to take their gaming products in a new direction. Thank you very much. You so much. Thank you indeed. So now, we're going to be drafting behind the Bagani until we're completely charged up. Going to take a little momentum. It's just fun to see that you're passing by a Pagani. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing uh, is, this is one of the hardest face-offs ever. Because he gets uh, right behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, right next to you, actually. At the very that last seems second. more realistic. <laughs> At the very last second. Oh, okay. Surprise beat me out of nothing too many times to count. <laughs> and he's definitely gonna beat you the first time you play that game. Yeah. 
And we've also have been in this location before. <laughs> that is also making a return in reverse. Oh yeah! Right. Well, now we went all the way back to San Francisco, <laughs> <Yeah>. apparently. <laughs> We just turned around at the halfway point, <laughs> yeah. then it would actually make sense in a game plan, but <laughs> yeah. gameplay way. <laughs> oh, man. And, yeah. Got another German car racing battle coming up here. Mm -hmm. Our previous car versus our new car. He's also actually kind of tough to beat. He gets very close. Yeah. to winning at the end. But yeah, that's like the script running. The guy is just faster in some point of the track. Yeah. Let's cut a bit there. Isn't this like where we... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the very beginning yeah. where, we got, where we got our Porsche crushed. All right, all right. It all makes sense now. Yeah, it all comes back together. Look at yeah. him. Right, right down. Close, it. close one, yeah. <coughs> We're closing in there. Top four. Has this become now a Pokemon one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the lead four coming yeah. up. Yeah. Well. I mean, now we are in the lead four, so it doesn't really work out. I mean, what is it? Oh, is it? No. No, we are in spot four, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's only three more people. So yeah, there's Caesar. Yeah, Caesar four. once again. And I'm not gonna spoil it. And two more. <laughs> 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 First, we're gonna beat Caesar. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get into a lot of action for mm -hmm. the past three events. After the last three events. Mm. Got Caesar and his jumps. We got the cops, and we got our trusty golf. El Camino. Well, that's it. We won. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Easy. But yeah, another callback to the very first event. Mm. That was this lane. Oh yeah. yeah. There is uh, mm -hmm. there's the rail tracks. Thank you guys. Why couldn't we use it a second time here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much easier. You know that I tried to shortcut through the gas station? <laughs> what do you think happens when you shortcut through the gas station? Well, you're gonna select another car. Exactly. Uh, you get that car change, you get the car change animation and like yeah, that wasn't a shortcut. Mm -hmm. And that is not even that is not even mirrored or anything. That is literally the same part <laughs> we have done earlier <laughs> in the Sesta Elemental. Oh, great! <laughs> I don't think I actually realized it on my first playthrough, but at the very yeah. latest on the second playthrough, you're gonna notice. Yeah. Oh. I mean, in the first playthrough, you're not gonna notice and so yeah. because it's so far apart. Exactly. You're probably not gonna get through chapters as fast as I did. Mm. Although you're still gonna beat that game within a day. Oh, okay. If you never played this yeah. game before and you play on the stock or even easy difficulty, you're gonna get through this game in a, in a day. If you have the time for it, of course. Yeah, sure. Interesting. <laughs> I just I just had the had the cop rubber band into the back of my car and <laughs> nearly wrecked me. Definitely definitely wrecked the traffic car. Yeah. So will we make the jump? We did. Ooh. Because sometimes the car gets super grip has insane amount of downforce and it just pushes you down and you can't make the jump. Happens yeah. sometimes with this car. Has to do with your speed and how you approach um, the jump itself. So, really happy it worked out. Also the reason why I kept my reset for this one, because that can very easily go wrong. Mm. And it can go wrong twice in a row too. <laughs> that would be really unfortunate though. Yeah. Thing. Two more to go. Mm. 
So yeah, you get a perfect run additionally, and you get reset remaining XP additionally. Mm. Those are the added on cutscenes when you don't waste your reset during the race. So, number two, Calvin Garrett. You might remember him, that was the guy in the red SLS. Nope. <laughs> 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 you probably remember when you see the car. Huh. The red one. <laughs> the red one, yeah. <laughs> the red one! The car with the tires and stuff, it's right? So, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. so funny to challenge all the super and hyper cars in the golf. Yeah. It's almost our strategy. Close it out. Also, the motor Cops, sound. Cops saying hello again. Yeah. Got him. Actually, really nice, nice normally. Normally, you don't overtake him there. <laughs> He's getting bullied so much <laughs> yeah. right now. He's trying his best to come back, but ain't happening. Denied. Today. I wonder. I wonder if he's even gonna make a return because normally he's supposed to drive in front of you here. Mm. But we basically put a plus five second on the AI there, <laughs> so it still does what the AI does, just five seconds later. Yeah. Oh. That could be another sequence break. Yeah, that car. Just yeah, it just disappears. <laughs> I think it saved my life at one point. Oh, okay. Where I was it on crash course and just bloop, <laughs> and it was gone. <laughs> Someone called the X Files. Uh, Cops are definitely on us right now. Mm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you're cruising through a park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more surprised that the park has such a wide road, you know? <laughs> yeah, true that. And like actually being able to drive through that and yeah. like with 200 kilometers. <laughs> I mean, as beautiful as beautiful as everything is, mm. then no, there's no one around. Not in the city. Yeah. Not anywhere. I mean, otherwise it wouldn't be PG-12 or what? Yeah, ex especially if you could hit them. But mm. I think what's more, the graphics would suffer if you had more mm. objects. Yeah. The game. Certainly. The game already had massive issues running on consoles, anyways. Mm. 30 FPS was a wishful thinking. And I mean, it would also be the first NFS which would have that. Yeah. I don't recall any NFS having that. Maybe it's some older ones, you would know that, but... Do I? Pro Streets might have spectators. Yeah, but you can't really interact with them. Oh, that, that is what I mean. No, I don't think you... No, you couldn't. Never. Yeah. Alright, we are in second, which means the last event is coming up. Ooh. You remember the guy that showed it us earlier, right? Hmm? Remember the guy that shot at us earlier? Uh, hmm. No, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> he tried to crush us in a Porsche. He tried to shoot us, and he also brake checked us. Mm. And called a helicopter multiple times. True. Tons of people. He's not doing it very well, is he? No, I don't think so. <laughs> we have a quick donation for us. Absolutely. We have Seawalk donating ten dollars to say I'm a JDM. JDM fan myself, but seeing a tuned GTI tear up supercars <laughs> is absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Agreed. Great run, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go. This is it, the, the final event. <laughs> I just noticed that in this tunnel here, there's like 50, uh, not like hundreds of signs with the 50 uh, yeah. speed limit on it. Like, how? Why do you need so many of them? I don't want to blame the developers again. <laughs> 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 okay, let's just enjoy the final race. <laughs> I'm gonna play this oh, very slowly. Whoa. I'm gonna play this very slowly okay, because the I thing see. is, the thing is, the jump only uh -huh. works half of the time. Mm. What whoa. is he doing? <laughs> Style points, man. Damn. <laughs> Shout out to Marcus, man. <laughs> Bringing the show to USA. I can do that. Sick. <laughs> That's the most perfect 360 you could have done. Mm. So yeah, I'm coming and shortcut. Whole bunch of boost getting here. We get here. This corridor, this this um, how do you call it? Alley. Mm. It's interesting because sometimes there's a car randomly from the side that will kill you. Aww. But it's very rare. I encountered it maybe like once every 20 runs or something. Mm. I'm always, you know, I know it, I know it exists. <laughs> it's like always back in your mind. Yeah, exactly. You're like, oh, it might be. Mm. It might be this time. 
That's a fun part. Yeah. You might remember this bridge from uh, several GTA games. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is basically our nitrous farming point. I'm coming with like 50 cars. Mm. But you know, driving in the city is cool and all. Mm -hmm. But you know what really gets me excited? What? Let me show you. Alright. Let me show you. Yeah, you even gonna say it? There, there, are few, there are few roads that are more interesting to take than, you know, the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, it's Minecraft! <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're just in the train, in the railway system. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, those rails are way better to drive on. Way better. Yeah. They give, like, that extra grip, you know? Exactly what you need. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Okay, we're done here. Alright, yeah. let's get out of here. What not actually happens? Not yet. Can't you like get pushed by that one just? Uh. It, it's it's wrecking you. Mm. It it travels at first at your speed and then it speeds up to 500 and more. Sure. Sure. That's just your regular subway system, you know, uh -huh. going at like 500 kilometers. I don't want to feel mm. the acceleration going from like 250 to 500 in an instant. <laughs> no. <laughs> Especially <laughs> not if I'm standing in a subway. <laughs> We we gotta dodge a little more here. Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't this subway <laughs> really busy, <laughs> busy right now? Uh. How convenient. Yeah. Weird. All right. How convenient. I think we had enough. Land, land I think right we had enough behind him again. <laughs> oh, fantastic! Love it. I don't. I don't really like that subway too much. That. <laughs> that was kind of. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> Very dangerous. <laughs> that, was, that was very dangerous. Uh. We can't get him, man. Uh, it just I just can't reach out. him, man. Just He's so just... Look at this, man. Yeah. He's just going. Impossible. Ah, one more but try. With some nitro. Nah. Still doesn't work, man. Nah. It's just too far ahead. Uh, how can I reach this kid? It's impossible. Nope, not working, man. Mm. I think we're gonna lose the run, man. It's almost like it's realistic, you know, that a super <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> and it just rubber bends away. Yeah. Oh, and then hello there. all of a sudden he's, uh, he's back right We're back. Us. They messed up the timing so bad on this one. We're back. Hello right. there. Let's get a good draft going. Mm. Let me pass. There we go. See ya. Three, two, two. one. <laughs> hey. There we go. Goodbye, Marcus. Rip him. This is how the run ends. Yeah. <laughs> Quite spectacularly. Passed him right at the end, and he actually manages to get stuck on the one thing <laughs> that sticks out. Damn. We didn't get we didn't get the buggy cutscene. Sometimes you have like a double jack going on, mm -hmm. where you have the animated jack um, body plus a stationary one. Uh -huh. Which looks really weird. And now you just saw the, like the the windows pop mm. and change their colors. Yeah. Now time for a celebration. Time to collect <laughs> our prize. Celebration time! Come on! I wonder. I wonder what Jack was doing in the last eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> like it took him eight hours yeah. to get from the end of the run to this restaurant. I think he was just going to sleep at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And then you're gonna get your 2.5 million exactly <laughs> in a pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, now now it's a coffee shop. What well, what is it now? <laughs> not exactly. Pay attention. I fixed your problem. They won't be bothering you again. Yeah, she also paid off the mob, so they're not chasing us. Mm. Well, if you're interested in doubling down, 
they teased a follow-up to the run here. At least they left an open ending. Mm -hmm. In case this game sold well, which it didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if I would have to take a bet, I don't see this game ever receiving a sequel anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the extreme percent difficulty run of Need for Speed D run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I was Kurajas, with me I had Prefix. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for, thanks having, for me, having us, actually, you say. Absolutely. Amazing event as always. Yep. Second time this year. <laughs> Couldn't feel any better. Yep. And now we got the rest of the final cuts in to watch here, and then we are officially done with this. Yeah. Enjoy, guys. It is, it's 30 seconds. Might as well, might as well watch it. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, Jack. Huh? Jack was never on the safe side, right? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it looks like he's cruising, right? Yeah. But I mean, yeah. Now he should be in the safe side. You think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am, I'm just astonished how bad. A video could yeah, look. the quality like, is the really quality bad. is extremely low. Yeah, you can you can tell every every pixelated piece of the video. Mm. You can count pixels. <laughs> that comes mm. one last shout out. The moment the moment you can hear the, the engine roaring. <laughs> Obviously, being chased down by a whole bunch of cops. Okay, sure, guys. sure. <laughs> now, now we're done. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate being here. Thanks so much for watching and have a lot of fun with the rest of the marathon. See ya. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>